Hello and it's welcome. Alive. It's alive. It is. It is live. It's live. We're. It's alive, Mario. We're doing it live. Um, this is Pokemon. This Not is Mario. It. This is how. Um, who made Pokemon? It wasn't Shigeru Miyamoto. <laughs> uh, who, who made Pokemon? Uh, William Game Freak. Right, William. Game this is how William Game Freak intended the game to be played. Yes, to, to hacked to shit. Yes, two grown men playing a heavily hacked uh, twin lock. That's that was the plan. I mean, reach for the stars, right? Being a corporate America really put the leash. Mistress on. Dana from the internet's here. All the way from the internet. Mistress Dana, do you see who's sitting on the chair over my left shoulder? I I know he's you always watching. You can't point at my hands. I didn't point either way. <laughs> I just said you can't point at my hands. What does that mean? Okay, so I burned through all of my creative energy by writing uh, about a thousand words a minute ago, and so now I'm all fried. So that's it. That's it. Good, good. So, sorry, nice warm up. Man. Yeah, good warm up. I'm trying to get in the habit of just writing, just uh -huh. just all the time, uh, like at least right. once a day. And uh, I, it was weird. Like the the beginning uh, surge of writing was really really rusty. Like I could feel the rust coming free, um, mm. and then it started to flow. And it was like right then that I was like, oh shit, I need to get to the stream. That's how I really felt during that drawing stream the other day. Like it had just been so long since I'd actually like tried to draw and there's also like a degree of separation because drawing on a wacom is while there's some transferable skill muscle memory from pencil and paper it is still like a whole different part of your brain being used and but by the end of it like i felt so much more comfortable with my pen strokes and getting what i wanted on the paper oh um what i wanted to rant about uh originally was uh Marvel Civil War and uh, Captain America's position in that, but this is a little early in the stream for us to start tapping into, like, side conversations. We've still got a whole situation to go. Let's look at our babies! Oh, yeah, I was gonna say we can, like, shoot the shit while we explore Rustboro, but let's mm. take a look at these. So, for everyone to remember, this is not six Pokemon, this is three teams of two. They are yes. connected at birth and forever <laughs> shall die as one. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Your leisure. Uh, you know, I just realized the, the notification thing didn't pop up. That's not great. I just noticed that, too. I don't like that at all. I heard the schnoise. Yeah. Did it just get moved back a layer? Maybe. No, it's right at the top layer. I don't know what the hell happened. Uh, maybe refresh the cache. Mm. Yeah, refresh cache. Refresh cache of current page. Refresh cash. Quick, someone, throw money at us to test this minor inconvenience. Yes, please. Oh, it's so important we do this right now and that you pay us to do it. <laughs> Throwing for content. Can somebody refresh my cash? <laughs> <laughs> I actually just refresh had my cash. cash. I just had my fra uh, cash refreshed. Uh, they realizing that I was completely boned uh, financially from having to drive two hours uh, both ways every week for my job. They were like, "Hey, bud, here's a here's a bump in your pay." So I actually got three dollars more an hour for travel time. Hey, that's awesome. Nap and camo. Subscribe. And it thank you for the gifted sub, Mr. Oh, Dana from the I internet see. and Warp Dentity. Welcome to your first chat. Warped Adene. Warped. <laughs> War pedantry. <laughs> <laughs> War pedantry. <laughs> well, this is weird. Alert is there now, but it doesn't have an uh, audio thing. It doesn't do noise. So it's doing one or the other, huh? Yeah, I really just get the one or the other, don't I? Sweet. Uh, yeah. That's very good. Well, I will try we'll to keep an eye out. out. Yeah, we'll we'll play with it later. Because, uh, you know, obviously now is the best time to do all of our technical work in the middle of the yeah. stream. Yeah. I have Excelgor named Rush 2049. <laughs> there it is. Do I remember what the 2049 reference was? The song, right? Uh, like... Well, well, Rush, the band, yeah. and Rush 2049 yes. was a, a Nintendo 64 racing game set in the future. And it was hilarious oh. and great when I was a kid. Okay, well, paired with that, I'm pretty sure I have Getty Leaf. Getty Leaf, that is correct. 
Uh, and uh, next to him is Joey Goebbels. <laughs> oh, yeah, and that's paired with Don Quixote. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Baby Metal and Gojira. I've got Sam Smelly it and Jiggy Stardust. Ah, beautiful. Uh, and then I got Most Deaf Leopard and Flint Eastwood. <laughs> And I have Swan Lake and the Nutcracker. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, the fact that this freaking Flint Eastwood has uh, sheer force is pretty exciting. I remember now. And the uh, Gojira with pure power. <laughs> it's just, just yeah. buck wild. Two of the strongest attack boosting natures or abilities there it is. It's the only good ones I have, like, uh, Don Quixote is just hot garbage, Bell, but he does have shell armor, so he will never be Instacrit. That's good. And J Jiggy Stardust has uh, Super Luck. Oh, there you go. Oh, right. Yeah, Leaf we... has Protean. God, can we please get Slash on that beautiful Clefairy? Ser seriously. Slash plus fucking Razor Claw, please. I need to get the Quick Claw as well. I think I did the. I think I looked it up, and it's like a forty percent crit chance with both of those. It's it's nuts. It's like crazy high. <laughs> It's probably not 40. <laughs> That's too much. <clears throat> Let's I don't, see. Though this is the worst part of any uh, stream when we're just like figuring out what we're doing, but also trying to like investigate a, a town. Yeah, I mean that's it's okay. I feel like it's par for the course. It's just the uh, it's dipping your toe in, you know. I had a thought recently where mm. I was like, oh, maybe I should, um, maybe I should like stream writing short stories. And I was like, that sounds such like such a bad fucking idea. <laughs> it does sound hard to engage with. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and the worst part is any engagement would be exactly the kind of engagement I don't want. Like, I don't want right. your fucking opinion on my story. <laughs> like, I don't want you telling me what I should write. Like, ugh. I mean, maybe, maybe like, instead of uh, streaming the story, I stream afterwards, I read it. Like, I read mm. it live or something. I'm like, this is what I just wrote. I can see that. The th there's things that I've really wanted to do, like streaming, like the making of a commercial sounds so much fun to me, but I don't want to spoil the next commercial. Like, I never want to spoil anything. Absolutely, yeah. What I'm honestly really trying to uh, think of more meta segments I can make, and I keep hiccuping on that. Oh, shit, Slapdosh. Thank you for the Slapdosh. I didn't <sighs> see a notification. I didn't. I just now got it, like, really late. I heard the noise that time. I want to trade a Togepi for your Nidorino? No. Mine was trading Azatu for a Hitmonlee, which I would do if I had Azatu. Absolutely. That's a solid trade. So are we on Catchville right now? Do we get... Do We get? We can either take on the gym or get technically two more encounters if we want to really dig deep and fight a bunch of trainers. I think we should go right for the gym. I think that's a great opener. I do too. High stress. Yep. Really ratchet up the anxiety. Plus, the quest that pops up after you beat this gym takes us where we would have gone anyway, so we may as well just follow that. I really love the coloration of uh, brown hair, red eyes. I think it is fucking adorable. I don't, don't think I've seen any red eyes in real life. No, but oh, I mean, I've seen I've seen eyes that are brown in a way that looks red, and those are really sure. gorgeous. But never anime brown. No, no. Red. Okay. Uh. I got a Bulbous and a Shrubus. I got a Torb and an Eve. Um, I'm bummed that we're getting so much fucking first gen shit. Um, okay. What is a risk here? Nothing. These guys can <laughs> suck my nut. <coughs> All right. I've got Psy Strike on Dedenne. <laughs> you, yeah, you, we each got two TMs, and yours were fucking Psy Strike and Dragon Claw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember now. Hot remember. shit. That's so good. Didn't dye your contacts oh. with Kool-Aid? Holy shit. God, no. Why? I didn't even know I couldn't see good in, in high school. <laughs> even in the magical fantasy world where I knew I was blind, I would not have had the money to afford contacts. That's it. I'm clicking only metronome with Cliff Abel. That's absolutely fair. Wait, doesn't that hold on, hold on. Isn't uh self or self destruct in the pool for that? It it is it is in the the randomized. It would be awesome if you did not kill four of our Pokemon for a joke. <laughs> it's not a joke. 
What am I? What else am I going to click against this dust skull? I've got all normal type moves. I'm just rolling for the chance to actually hit him. <laughs> I, I suppose that's fair. I hate red eyes when I take pictures sometimes, which usually looks stupid. <laughs> See, I only got that with, like, the old, like, analog cameras, like, ones that actually use film. I feel like it's harder to get the red eye in the camera phone. On the note of weird eye stuff, my right eye has a, a, sl a segment that's darker below the pupil, and so it looks like a keyhole. Oh, weird. One of the coolest features on my person. Huh. It's hard to notice because they're dark eyes, so, you know, you don't really notice unless you're staring into my eyes, which I don't imagine you and I have ever had cause to, nor will ever have cause to do. I am very uh, averse to staring people in the eyes. It is far too much for me. Yeah, so I'm, I'm okay with that. That's a, that's a perfectly I acceptable avoid, premise. Avoid eye contact to avoid feeling deeply uncomfortable constantly. Yeah, every time I find a key, remind me to jab it into your eye just in case it's the one... <laughs> <coughs> oh boy. Quick attack that Zatu. My microphone's in a weird position because I'm sitting in a weird position and it annoys me. I don't like it. Well, just let me know about it every few seconds and we'll be good. We'll do. That's my complaint the for the minute. Are blue tinted. I thought it was cool. That does sound cool. Tinted glasses sounds awesome, although probably not the best for seeing in some situations. I wonder if that fucks with your eyes on the long term. Might. Might could. Might could. Yeah, Pickle seems to like Reggie. She was <laughs> she was curious. She gave him some sniffs and cuddles. Nice. Happy to see that. Um God, I hate double slap so amazingly much. <coughs> I heard my phone text and alert go off. And I want to make sure it's not work. But I can't find it. Leech life. Probably, probably in the other one. Suck that mime dry. Ugh. <laughs> you want a fresh glass of mime squeezings? Ew. <laughs> ew. You're I, ew. I don't need wide guard. I don't need wide guard. Damn, didn't mime realize how tough this is. The silent quencher. Mime juice. <laughs> <coughs> oh, weird. Yeah. This kid's doing the thing where he pops up with the text bubble like he would give you an item in some weird randomizers. He's not, but he sure has it. A mime juice is my favorite addition to a good Moscow mule. <laughs> a mom scout mule. <laughs> I am ready for a walk, Cyan. <coughs> I still got one trainer to go. I'm just fucking blazing. Uh... I think for this one I'll try Getty Leaf and Don Quixote. Gimme. Dwebble and Dwebble. It's the Dwebsters. Look at these baby rock cookies. <laughs> baby rock Little cookies. Cinnamon rolls. I get Google or uh, surveys a lot, and they're like, would you like to send us a receipt? And I'm like, no. Under no circumstances do I want to send you a receipt. Why do you want my receipts? Well, because they're like, they're like, did you go to, have you, what of these five places have you been to in the last whenever? And you're like, Fred Meyer. And they're like, have you made a payment there? And they're like, yes. And they're like, would you be okay with sending us a receipt? And I say no. And here's the thing. I would if they like tripled the reward, but it's the same reward whether or not you give them a receipt. So it's like, why? I'm never, I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to go out of my way to take a picture of a receipt from a thing I just did for no extra benefit. That's very strange. <clears throat> yeah, it's very dumb. I just like getting free Google Mucks. Sure. <coughs> it's an easy 25 cents. And you just load up on them, and then later you're just like, ooh, here's a here's a game I want. Uh, I can't justify spending money on an app, except I've got Google Bucks. These dwebbles are putting in work. I imagine so. They're pretty beefly babes.
Well, they're also using Fury Cutter, which is fucking terrifying because it gets stronger every hit. <coughs> you gonna lose him? There it goes. He crit. They both they doubled Fury Cutter in and crit. Who are those tied to? Those are our starters. Oh, oh, you didn't you didn't actually lose my pure power uh, Tyranitar, did you? That didn't happen, right? The, the Larvitar. I just lost my fucking Swan Lake. I don't care about your slow bro. <laughs> my beautiful Titar. Oh my god, that's <laughs> such a hot dump. The thing is, like, I'm going to keep losing stuff because their Fury Cutters are really charged up right now. Okay. Are we going to lose this fight? Is that is that the, the play here? To fucking Dwebbles? <laughs> Looking like it. I have to swap you out because the other one fucking died. I didn't even get to the gym leader yet. Yeah. I'm going to assist. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. Why would I do that? <coughs> no, I was tied to my chest knot. It's like my actual only good Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> fuck my hole. Fucking suck <laughs> my rim. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That That's was all... one of the cases where the double battle rules actually really hurt me because the first things I led with were Psychic and Grass. So I was like, oh, Fury Cutter, I have to switch them both out. And it gave them a free turn uh... to just Fury Cutter up because I had to waste the turn to swap. That tracks. It's a... Uh... Not good. I'm not liking the damage on Flint Eastwood right now. Let's not focus, shall we, boys? Hey, Mock Punch, that's not too bad. <laughs> I can't help but notice we could have gone back to the PC and gotten a new team if you hadn't already encountered the gym leader. <laughs> No, we couldn't, because we're not allowed to leave the gym once we enter. Oh, I keep... See, I forgot we went over that one in this time. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I, just, I assumed, since that's always the rule, since we started doing it. That makes it. sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to learn Nutcrack, the uh, Leech Seed with you. You died. It doesn't matter. You died. Shut up, you Mother died. Oh, fuck. Well... Here goes the farm. Don't bet the whole thing. Too late. Chips on the table. Yeah, she's got Merlot eyes. She's been drinking. How come there's no drunk gym leaders? <laughs> That's what I want. Oh my god, don't heal Helioptile, you dick. I'm just carving away at these assholes. Mock punch with Jay Reinhold. Good, good. Oh boy. Yeah, I always forget too, zombie, even though it's like one that I initially brought in. Because <laughs> that's just how my brain works. <coughs> uh, oh, charm. I don't really need charm, do I? Uh, I mean, it's... Oh, look at this fat lad who just fucking popped in. You think he's got an ice move for me? Oh, you know he does. So what, should I switch out to the other team that is also weak to ice? See, this is this is the real kicker of fucking uh, uh, these twin locks. Is like, what one member of either... Of any team is always going to be slightly vulnerable. Mm -hmm. You're just not in a good spot. Well, my best move is to hope that if he has any f ice moves, they're going to be low-level shitty ones, and he's a physical attacker, and then I'm going to Giga Drain him. Please get five. Or Schmeg, Schmega Drain him. Uh, Smeg, Smeg, Smegma Drain. <laughs> you give him the Smegma Drain. 
Okay, that's not that's not too bad. He's got Ice Ball. That's the same thing as Fury Cutter, but cold. Mm. Uh, but I outsped him, so as long as they both hit, we'll be fine. The only thing is, I got Mud Slapped, so my accuracy's down with Jingling. Perfect. This is very good. Very good. Can you crit Mega Drain? Oh my god, he's got one-eighth of a hit point left. That's so bad. Don't miss Chingling. Come on, Don Quixote. Thank you. What a good bell. This fucking so, little dumbass cat is such a goddamn liability. <laughs> oh, Lipard? It's a moody, it's a moody uh, cat, oh, and I just yeah, can't handle it. It's so hard to keep track of, too. Yeah, at a certain point, you just give up. You're just like, whatever. He's He's got some stats. In Sun and Moon, you could click on him and find out exactly what had changed. That's oh. always nice. Why would they get rid of that? They didn't. They didn't add it. Oh, till right. Then. Sun Sun Moon was after this for some reason. I forgot that. Yeah, if you could send all rock water types in, that'd be just, that'd be just tickety boo. I forgot that Nidorina has double kick, and I am counting myself extraordinarily lucky it did not fucking drop kick my stupid little cat in the the shadow realm. Yeah, that would have hurt. Uh, wow, you know, I just don't have anything I can send in. Uh, Ruh -roh. This is so bad. This is so awkward. I hate this. I mean, for me, everything she sent in on the left side of the field has been something that my Grovow can one-shot. Thanks for that two-hit, you nerd. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's an interesting question. I guess I have to auto I have to fuck, waste a turn swapping them out, but I'll keep in my mom. Good. Yeah, we never really discussed how roars are going to work. Oh, I, fig yeah. I figure you get the choice of either se using, of sending out the other person that just got swapped in or uh, pulling them out. <coughs> that seems like a, a good, fair, like, option. You get way we say again. So uh, if they roar out one of your pair, you can either swap the other one or swap that one, whichever one you want. But you have to make the pair even. I'm not sure I fully get that. So you have team one out. They swap one of your guys mm -hmm. out for team two. You can either make them both team two or make them both team one. You get the choice. So for that fight, though, you have an unmatched team on the, on the field. No, you have to swap it out. One of them has to get swapped. So, oh, you just pick which one. Okay, okay, yeah. Gotcha. I got there in the end. I got there in the end. <laughs> Go Protean. God. Yes, very good. Oh, no. shit. Nidorine is poison, which resists fighting. That's true. Hey, Gia, a guillotine, how's it going? How is it going? Of course I got the hey. poison. Hey, what are you? Good to hope. Good. Both, 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 both confused. Both. Oh, yeah. B both confused and one poisoned. I'm oh, getting out of Vul Vulpix confuse ring you? Yes. Well, time to send in Rush, who is at very high risk of the Ember, and Joey Goebbels, which fortunately in Arena doesn't have any uh, ground moves, but it does make the electric completely worthless. But it's poison, so uh, Side Strike will just completely turn it inside out. But isn't it in a part fairy? It is. Which isn't weak to fire, but wait. No, but it is weak to poison. Oh, right. Well, you just forced my swap, so. I'm, I'm sure Dedenne will be fine. He's kind of tanky, all things considered, but just uh, trying to remember my types. Uh, let's size strike the Nid Arena into the Shadow Realm. Let's start there. Yeah, it's not like Nid Arena has anything other than fucking poison sting. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't I was going to say anything because I didn't want to jinx it. I was like, come on, please give me a good TM. I could really use that right now. And f fucking splash. That's so good for you. It's not even like growl bad. Yeah. 
Why you is gotta that? randomize them all. We can't click certain ones to leave off. Yeah. Unfortunately. If the perspective of this is accurate, that fucking shovel is a goddamn gigantic. <laughs> it's the size of two five, two ten year olds stacked on top of each other. It's like a jet ski shaped like a shovel. Oh my god. I'm so fucking bummed. <laughs> Me too. It's gonna be another one of those one of those soul links where I lose everything. Yep. <sighs> It's okay. We'll make it work. That's that was the whole point of the twin lock, man. We're we're getting cotton spore. Yeah. Oh, it's a league better than splash. <laughs> yeah, a league. <laughs> that's like that's like saying like like pee wee pee wee football is leagues better than a kid eating dirt in the grass. Like that's <laughs> yes, technically. <laughs> I still wouldn't I want mean, them on the goddamn you know giants. Well, that in that cotton spore is useful in. Several occasions. Splash will never be. <laughs> Not once ever. I don't know if there's a TM for every move, but basically what they do is they take every single TM and then they randomize what move it is tied to. So. Mm -hmm. I guess they just do as many moves as there are TMs to be found in the game. Correct. Now, do we switch out for a different team or do we wait? Because we're about to get off the top of my head like six encounters. Well, for now, let's go ahead and put our beautiful, precious children in the goddamn toilet. I also could have equipped, like, some Oren berries for that fight. That might have helped. Yeah. There's a lot we could have done. <laughs> but, you know, we can't... We can't have... It, it was our first fight, which, in retrospect, I realized just how stupid it was for that to be our first thing to do. <laughs> like... I wasn't the, even at the gym leader yet, though. It was just a fucking random duo of dwebbles. Yeah... Yeah, I'm just. I, yeah, it just seems like it was a bad idea to to go into the gym fight first, and I I know I was the one who championed that position, so that's my fault. I was I was gonna agree. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm, what the fuck is a battle box? Why did I do that? So let's uh, go get some ch chatches. Get do we want to just throw another pair on the team just for yeah, in case we encounter something nuts? Let's get some chechens. I think um, we have a the Pidgeot uh, Volibee team is the best flop in, which I believe for you is a Beedrill and Bidoof. Uh, that is a really inconvenient swap in for me. Mostly I want. Well, never mind. Venom Venomoth doesn't even have its fucking uh, spores. Spores yet. I was gonna say like, oh please, Venomoth with the spores. Nope. Wait, what's missing here? One. You're paired with you. Where did? Where'd my Clefable go? Oh, I see. Clefable got stuck in here. Because they're large and pink. <laughs> That's all I saw. <laughs> all I see is big pink flesh. What do you imagine those um, spines on its back feel like? Those little wingalings? Yeah. Um, I'm going to say the same material as plastic cutting boards. Do they have bones in them? Maybe. Maybe they're just cartilage. Ooh, ugh, fleshy cartilage wings. Yum. All right. Ready for an encamp? Oh, wait, you're not even you're not even out of the place yet. I'm not out of the woods yet. Um, I want to make sure I have bolts. Oh, I right. Balls. 18. I, oh, I have a big pearl, too. I guess I picked that up in the forest and forgot about it. I have 24 balls, which will probably do me dandy. I mean, I have 18 and three premier balls, so I'm not, like, in bad shape. In case I need to heal stall, I should probably grab some potions. I'm a scientist. <laughs> yeah, thanks for giving me what you think was Fur Fury Swipes and was actually your only copy of Dragon Claw. <laughs> what are you holding, Crooked Vulture? Orenberry. I'm All going right. to grab. Two. I'm going to grab four great balls. Oh, uh, we. I forgot that after the first gym, you can buy more stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, I should go to the store then. Yeah, that great ball can make a big difference depending on what we encounter. Mm -hmm. The biggest difference. 
Especially after you've burned through your 24 Pokeballs and you're like, well, this is all I got. Oh, hey, I have a Scissorite. That's right. It was one of the hidden items. Random. Wall, so random. Lol. I was trying to get the Pokeball, but instead I encountered a Servine, which is a recap. Lol, so random. Uh, G ball. Give me Thank that. God I got this ice heal. That'll be circumstantially useful. <laughs> is that a Noivy? It's a Noivy burn. <clears throat> I Question though, why was it. the why was the Servine re encounter? Because you have a Superior? No, I have a Grovile. Oops. Well it's okay, you can just that'll be year two. It'll be Superior and uh Noivern and just wait till you catch it again. Fair enough. That seems that seems fair, right? I mean yeah. Servine's great. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. No, Neuvern's amazing. I love Neuvern. No, Neuvern's don't, awesome. Don't get it twisted. This shit is this, this is the business right now. He's one of my favorite dragon types. Oh no, I encountered a dude. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, feel free to catch it while I'm fucking chugging it out with this paintbrush dog. I don't know how tough this guy is to catch. Um Ugh. What is it? It's dragon flying? No. Yep. Oh, yeah. Look. Yep, dragon flying. Dragon flying, which means it's going to resist. Let's see what I got. Let's see what I can muster. Let's see what mustard I have. Um, Rimsby? He's got fury attack. Justin Beaver might be the best play. Hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, Dana. <laughs> Careful, artists have nothing to lose. <laughs> yeah, but dogs are like the opposite. Mm -hmm. So they cancel each other out. Fair. Wait, dogs have everything to lose? No, I mean, dogs are... They, they, they're so in love with life. Everything is optimism. <sighs> oh, shit. Good God. Okay, right. I forgot Leech Life is really strong in, in Gen 8. So. Oh, yeah. Fucking bumped it in Gen 6. Uh, I, thought they, I thought they bumped it in 7. Was it 7? I Mike. think it was 7, but we, we specifically chose to update moves. So, Well, not Justin Beaver, then. Let's not. Um, fucking, I can't I put mean, out Rims. Nothing's going to want to take that. No. And I don't have shit that's going to be able to do damage, except maybe most Def Leopard. Uh, that's gonna one shot most Def Leopard. Leech Life? That's Bug type. He's dark. Oh, he's dark. For some reason, I thought he was fucking normal. I can never remember what's normal and what's dark anymore. <laughs> you don't see see through those colored glasses. I really don't. Ooh, fucking Aerodactyl. Never gonna catch it, but really great to see. Wow. These are the very strong, big, flappy boys. Well, let's see if you get it. Because if you don't, then. That's it for me. I mean, the only thing I can do to a level 5 Aerodactyl, thankfully it is Rock-type, and Chingling has one of the worst attacks in the game, so I think I'm going to cut it. I'm going to do Flint Eastwood, and I'm going to Mock Punch, because he's going to resist that because he's flying, and it's only wow. base 40. Oh, good, he's got Bite. Very good. It's, a, it's fine. It's level 5. There's, like, yeah. nothing to fear here. Look how much fucking Cut did. I'm, like, 12 levels above it. Do you think my level 16 Flint Eastwood is going to kill this thing with a Mach Punch? <clears throat> I think Ember's a better choice than Mach Punch, because Dragon resists fire, and it does not resist fighting. And Flint Eastwood's fa attack is better than his special, right? Exactly. Oh, wait, hold on, but he's also got uh, that, that ability, which increases the damage of oh, things. Oh, sure, force. Have. Yeah. Okay, let me just let me let me test it. Let me just test with a ball. I'm just gonna throw a yeah. ball. We're just gonna see how it goes. Uh, no reason not to. One. Okay. Well, at least I got a shake. That's something. Fuck. What? What even is there to do here? <laughs> this is so not good. Well, Rimsby will. Wait, no. Bug doesn't resist. Bug does it. No, it's neutral. Okay. Does poison resist bug though? Because that might help. Oh yeah, maybe it does. 
Ah, but he's also... Thank you for the follow, Hugo Strangers. Yay, visuals, <laughs> but no sound. Hugo Strangers. Hugo Stranger NZ. Well, welcome, all the way from not New Zealand. Uh, that's where this, that's where we are right now, is not New Zealand. Yes, it's a very simple map we live by. <sighs> so, Rush. Rush has quick attack. And he's a bug. Mm -hmm. Which won't do well. I mean, he's high, he's high level. I think, I think Rush with quick attack is my play. For offensively, I think that's one of your best choices. I am a little worried that that thing has a strong flying type move, but he hasn't used it yet, so. No, he has not. But even if he does, I'm I'm seven levels at senior. I doubt he's going to do that much with it. Yeah, unless he crits or something. Wow, that's a really good confusion hit, right? That was a, lot, a good amount of damage. Appreciate it. I don't know. Aerodactyl has an incredibly hard catch rate. Yes, he does. He's in the red, and he's asleep. Please One, don't hit yourself. Two. Three. I caught Aerodactyl. Yes! Holy shit. Okay. Wow. Second this, ball. This Neuvern's a real fucking asshole, huh? He, he's got an amazing special attack. But he's hitting me with fucking leech life, and it's dealing like a quarter of my health. That's a physical, if I remember correctly. It's like base 80, though. <laughs> oh, God. And then he fucking defense dropped me, which means I have to swap. I can't put him most of Leopard, because I think he's going to get wrecked. Let's put in Joey Goebbels. <laughs> get in there, JoJo. Bunny Ragged, perfect hangout with pizza and cider. Good to see y'all. That sounds fucking delicious. I'm not going to lie. I could go for some pizza and cider so hard. I would love some pizza and fucking cider right now. How is Joey ah. Goebbels' physical attack? It's probably dump garbage, right? He, it can... I, won't, I don't think either of its attacks are, like, anything to write home about, but let's find out. I just really, can I just say I really, really don't want to kill this Neuvern? <laughs> I, I respect and agree with that. I'm going to throw another premier uh, ball. His physical attack is pretty dumps. It's definitely red line bad. Base 58. Oh. Ah, oh, my heartstrings. Stop Why doesn't your Dedane no Thunder Wave? That makes me mad. I'm very angry about it myself. Um, let's get Rush back out there, because every time he uses Screech, I've got to swap, because that Leech Life is hitting surprisingly hard. Mm -hmm. Did you teach anyone cut? No, I didn't. Good God, it's like half his health from a fucking leech life. Okay. Okay. I knew I was going to need those potions, man. I'm so glad I bought them. <laughs> Absolutely. If we get these big flappy duo, I'm going to be stoked. He's just going to keep spamming leech life at this point. Okay, I was thinking, like, what would be... If, I'm already planning, like, you caught it. Um, thinking of names, and I was thinking of, like, famous airplanes, because they're both these huge, flappy things. I'm going to go with the quick attack on this. Okay. Thank you for not hitting me. Quick attack again, please. Don't crit. Jesus, the crit. Okay. No, do crit. Crit, crit okay. Yeah. Well, I wasn't sure it was going to kill it with a crit. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, it's a wasted crit because I'm going to have to heal instead of catching. And then realistically, it's going to get more health back from sucking you dry. Yeah. Hey, he keeps fucking up with supersonic. Now's your best turn thus far to catch. Great ball, please. I'd, yeah, grate it up. Like cheese, like Parmesan. Get it. Get it. One. Do it. Game Boy Luke. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Mm. This is a good. This is a good duo. This is a very good duo. <laughs> uh, and you already know that your next catch is going to be a real solid mon as well. That's Agreed. Nice. Um, so here's what I'm thinking: because famous airplanes, okay, okay, uh, spruce juice, Spru <laughs> spruce juice, and Air Force fun. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I like Spruce Juice. My only problem is we did specifically name one of our Pokemon Spruce Goose or Spruce Bruce uh, ages ago. Oh, that was uh, that was so long ago. I forgot that that existed. Yeah. Um, is there something from Orville Redenbacher? <laughs> wait, 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 not Redenbacher. About, Hold on, Orville what, Wright. I don't know. <laughs> Orville. I was gonna say popcorn. What are you talking about? <laughs> now, no, what about the what about the the Shred Baron? I was going to say the Redenbacher Baron, but that's not going to fit. Um, uh, Shred Baron. 
is pretty good. I mean, Air Force of Fun is just so stupid. It made me laugh. <laughs> Air Force Fun is pretty fucking great. But which to whom? Uh, What was the first one? Oh, yeah. I feel like this guy's juicier. Aerodactyl's I think, got that I think Aerodactyl chain. should be Shred Baron. Okay, okay. Because we you can't, be... we can't use spruce juice. That's we already got a, we already got a, a spruce juice under our belt. Oh, but my juice. Okay. Uh, what other airplanes should there be? What are or flying? Like, there's there's lots of spaceships too. Like, mm hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna open chat so I can see what they got. Orville Redenbacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Air Force One is great. Um. <laughs> Redenbacher is pretty fucking good. <laughs> I mean, something, uh, something popcorn related at that point. Would be <laughs> Wait, I've got it. I'm gonna marry the two and name this thing Shredenbacher. <laughs> Shredenbacher. Oh god, I love Shredenbacher. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna fit. There's no way you're fitting Shredenbacher in there. Oh, I'm gonna spell it your favorite way. Ugh. Oh my god, it's gonna fit. Shreddenbacher, oh my god. Air Perfect. Force and Shreddenbacher. It doesn't even make sense. Oh, it's so good. Let's take a look. Oh, he went to the box. I can't check him out. <sighs> Hot. Okay, so you need to run around until you get yourself a uh, Servine, I think. I do. I do. I'm stuck on Servine. Unless we want to just hand wave that one. I'm fine with either. I mean, it really is quite good. I don't think you have any grass on your team yet. You are correct. I should not I should not risk it for any kind of mysterious unknown biscuit. If you can take a starter on a gamble, always go for it. Yeah, which is not a rule we have followed at any point in any of our Nuzlocks because we routinely gamble on starters. It's true. It's true. Okay. We're going for, for, for good stats, though. Yes. And get rid of that beedrill. So Did that have huge it. power? Did I just see that your fucking Neuvern had huge power? You did, my friend. What the fuck is going on? With an attack dropping nature, though, on a special attacker, that is not the greatest thing in the world, but I'll take it. That's fine. What? It's still 30. Like it, it brings it to a it brings it to a decent attack stat on a Pokemon that does not normally have a high attack stat. So that's pretty But great. he's already got Leech Life. No wonder it was doing so fucking much. He has Any huge power. Dragon claw. Oh my god, I'm done. Just you <laughs> fly by yourself. <laughs> yeah. Uh I don't need tackle when I've got Leech Life and Dragon Claw. I'll take this. Please. That was Okay, it's got that's Law, that's why his fucking leech life was hitting so goddamn hard. I just said two, that. I, I'm sorry. I was too busy <laughs> stuck in my own head. Man, I don't hear a lot. <laughs> I just have that kind of voice. Okay, well, this one's Naughty by Nature and Defiant, so that's actually pretty good. Naughty by Nature is pretty great. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, boy. That's very exciting. Well, we got to go complete the catch. Yeah, we do. Sure, you don't want to tackle. <laughs> yeah, base, base forty normal move, please. Oh, in order to catch it, maybe teach like Dedene cut, so he's on. It's on your team, and you have like a low offensive move. That's a bad idea. No, not you. Maybe I can tiptoe up on on the hidden mon. Let's see what my rare encounter is. You know what? I'm gonna teach the cut to Justin Bieber because it's sure. stab. Well, it is stab. Yeah, it's pretty good. And I'm going to put beaver right up front. I'm going to lead with a nice beaver. Love to see it. Ugh, why am I so nervous right now? I feel like I'm going to fuck up this Servine catch. It's pretty catchable. Oh, oh. oh man. Oh, it's fine. You have a great fire type. You're, you're... Justin, Justin Beaver is a great lead. He's got runaway. Oh, very good. Mill tank. Milky. What a beautifully milky child. I'm going for the hidden encounter, the secret rare. Oh. Tippy tiptoe. What's it going to be? Oh, is oh. this a slacking? Oh. That's a slacking someday. 
and with a no truant slacking. I think you mean the once in future slacking. The once in future slacking. <laughs> I like it. Who wrote once in future king? Uh, T. White. Yep, T. H. White. T <laughs> okay, I am certain I can cut this fucker. Oh, fucking Amoris, man. Auroras, mm. excuse me. That's a that's Auroras, and the moon hits your eye. <laughs> I I'm actually really excited about how shitty cut is on Don Quixote. <laughs> Unfortunately, I ran into a fight. Fortunately, it is against a Tyrogue and a Phoebus. <laughs> oh, good, strong boys. Yeah. Wait, who's Dene tried tied with? Rush. Let's high strike the shit out of this Tyrogue. Stop uproaring. I caught the uh, Griffin Lord of the Rings, or Lord of the Rings, fucking Legend, <laughs> Legend of Zelda stream uh, live Today. for the first time, yeah. The one where he fought Ganon? Yeah, that was good. It was good. Yeah. I was a little disappointed he didn't stick it out and like push it, push it to the limit, try and beat it, but it was, it was good. He needed another week of content, I think. That's fair. I really hope somebody, like, in his vast and unrelenting community makes him a Guy Fieri model for Ocarina of Time, because I need it. Me too. We gotta see it. Why didn't it... Oh, I can't put it to sleep because it's using uproar. Uh, uh, I was like, how come Yawn hasn't kicked in yet? This is ridiculous. We'll take sausage nipples plus the thing. No. What would Phoebus do? <laughs> what would Phoebus do? Cascoon's desolate land. Desolate land, Cascoon. <laughs> uh, I love that. I don't, don't like to see that. <sighs> Get fucked, Cascoon, please. Wait, did Sam smell you? Did you the one that learned Thunder Wave? I think you are. I did. I just it switched is. out because I needed to resist your stupid uproar. I'm it again. I have not found a uh, Servine since uh, that first one. This is a butt. 1812. Back when Shred and Baka first took to the skies. <laughs> That was not 1812. <laughs> Nor was it the popcorn guy. <laughs> I don't know why. It's, it's the Orville, man. You, like, you hear Orville, and your brain just goes right to, to Redenbacher. We don't have enough Orvilles in our day and age. We don't. We need more Orvilles. Yeah. <laughs> Let's confuse the name even more. Even when it tries to sleep, the blood in its veins grows agitated. Jesus. Excuse me? Is that how the science works? Yeah. Angry blood. I just recently finished watching uh, the first season of True Detective. Yes. Uh, let me tell you, it is some of the best television I've seen in my entire life. Uh, he's been twisting my arm to watch that forever. It is favorite shows. staggeringly good. I, I was taken so completely aback by how good that fucking show is. Oh, man. Like, yeah, and, and it was so it was like made for me in that moment, too. And I had like so much like good personal introspection about it. And it was just oh, it's perfect. Mm. Uh, the Groovy Jazz is actually from. Uh, oh, shit. What's the guy? What? The music. Uh, the music that we use. It's the. Um, I never play it. You're the it's, only one. It's, <laughs> it's the one person who does like a shitload of video game covers, well, uh, and lets and offers them. Nate for wants free. to battle. No, it's the person who offers them all for free for everyone. Uh, uh -huh. Over, over, overdrive, overload, over, over something, override. Oh shit! What is it? Um. Anyway, uh, I've, shit. I feel so bad because we've been using his music for so long, and I, I fucking completely forgotten their name okay I have name idea if you catch the superior which is apparently never going to happen mm -hmm. um, so it, it, 
we got slacking or slack off and the snake boy. So what about <laughs> Hassel Sloth and Long Selick? <laughs> what? Why were you like Long Selick? <laughs> it's Tom, it's Tom Selick. Oh, long, okay, 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 okay. They're they're TV <laughs> handsome men sweethearts. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me stew on that one for a bit. They're they're sexy TV boys. Man, <laughs> long selling. <laughs> so bad. Oh yeah, you know what? I actually forgot that we had a naming convention, and we chose fucking airplanes for the last one. Yeah, they're famous airplanes. Fair, fair. Well, actually, hold on, hold on. Since we are trying to specifically go with movies and television, Orville Schreddenbacher, specifically as popcorn for movies, makes sense. And Air Force One is specifically a movie starring uh, Harrison Ford. So yes. we technically did it right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Something about movies. I know popcorn. <laughs> there it is. There's hey, the Hey, he's back. Line. God. No, I, it's I do not like. That... I do okay. like Hassel Sloth though. Um, it's it's honestly, uh, Bunny Ragged. It's not that I I feel. I, it's not that I'm worried they're gonna get upset or something. It's that like I specifically feel so bad because they're such a good person. Like just offering shitloads of free music to streamers, and I just feel like a shit for not mentioning it. Uh, but I will say, uh, unrelated, if you really like the Luck music, you should check out Fesslian Studios. They do free stuff. And it's encouraged mm -hmm. to do a donation, and they're great, and I really appreciate their work. Yeah, not like the theme song, but a lot of the commercial music yes. and stuff. All of our all of our like official stuff is is has been commissioned by actual musical artists, but the uh, yeah. the the background music for a lot of things is uh, Fesslian Studios, and they do a great job. Okay, I'm not going to risk a crit on this one. I'm going to try and just catch it as is. I think you got it. I do uh. like Hassel Sloth though. It's not bad. I'm just, I'm, I feel like, I don't know. Just, I mean, think of, think of the image of a slacking and then think of David S. Hoff. My, my biggest hiccup is the, the S followed by, SL followed by SL. It's a little sloth. I feel no like one Hasselhoff. Said, no one said it's easy to say. I feel like Hasselhoff might be better, but that's not, not, it's not as, doesn't sing. Throw another Pokeball and see if it does another no shake. Because if it does, I'm going to have to hit it. One, two, three. C -c -c Click. Nice. Um, Anaconda was a movie starring yes. uh, John Voight. <laughs> it had Betty White in it too, right? Did it have Betty White? Oh, no, that was Lake Placid. <laughs> ah, yeah, with the, with the fucking alligator. My croctopus. <laughs> um, struggle bug. That's Ooh, special. Bad. Yeah, I could use that. Do, ooh, do I need it more than? Well, I'm gonna keep Le keep leech life because that's a base eighty drain. That's fucking crazy. Good. Acid spray is pretty good. That lowers their defense, right? Quick attack's nice because it does give me a priority. But I'm already really fast. I'm gonna get rid of quick attack. And double team's a good backup. Like oh fuck, kind of situation. Um. I'm trying to think of other snake movies, long selling. or or shows or or shows, yes. Uh, GI Joe had Cobra. Yes, it did. Um, fuck it, let's just go with Long Selig and, 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 and Hassel Sloth. I can't even remember how to spell Selig. Is it S E L L E C K? That's what I would have guessed if you would ask me. Yeah. Uh, yep, guess. nailed it. And then, Man, is there something I can do with Magnum PI? Oh, um, Magnum PI. It's <laughs> called sell them for some reason, like an asshole. <laughs> Whatever, I was just gonna go with long sell. Like it's fine, it's fine. I'm trying not to, try not to overthink names anymore. Got to That's keep fair. the pace up. Um, yeah, let's go check them out. Yes. This might be a good swap for the Pidgeotto. And your bidyof. Could be. Bedorfus. Well, no matter what, this is definitely coming on the team. This is a crazy pair. Let's withdraw. That's not what we want. Organize the boxes. Oh, he's got dry skin. That's not bad. Oh, you yeah. have to be careful about it. I got moxie. Ooh, that's fucking yeah. tight. I will take a moxie. Wow. 
So that's getting rid of, for me, Volaby and Pidgeotto. <coughs> so right now my team is Long Selic and Air Force Fun, Most Def Leopard and Flint Eastwood, Joey Goebbels, and uh, Rush 2049. Okay. Which I think is and our I've correct got, pairings. I believe so. Let's see. Uh, Clavable, Robopass, Purloin, Monferno. Grovile Chingling, Excel, Gordedene. And oh, first thing I got to do is put these ones in. So I got Vigoroth and my baby had a zinc. Ooh, that's Cash Bucks. Give me them Dallas. Of course. Well, it oh, has it was an Aerodactyl. Of course, it has an attack dropping nature. Why wouldn't it? That's fine. Um, and you got Servine and Big Bat Noivern. So yes, this is the team. That is a very and fresh team. Spreadsheet's team. updated. And should we bump up our new friends or just let them stay as they is? I think bump up's good. Yeah, At least a twelve. Five. Yeah. Twelve seems. So good. defiance not bad on an area. Ooh, it's and it's. Oh, I already noticed that. That's right. When I said uh, it's naughty by nature, I remembered that song. It's no. an, an attack boosting. Nature. Isn't naughty by nature specifically a song? <laughs> it's a band. Oh right, right. And special defense boost, yeah. So this is great against water types. I'll take that. Hell yeah. I'll take that. Not good against fire types. No, no, no. Are you leaving uh, EXP share on? I have not seen it yet. Hmm. But let's check. Uh, I I guess it's on. What would we want it on or off? Uh, do we want it on or off? I'm asking you. I, I don't know. I haven't even been paying attention to it. It didn't even cross my mind in the slightest. Well, I've got some level 16s now. I'm worried we're going to over over level if we're not careful. Let's flip it off then. That's cool. <clears throat> I'm way down to shut it down. Off. Shred and Bok are the Aerodactyl is pretty nice for me. Shred and Bok. <laughs> Such a good name. <laughs> I mean, Aerodactyl and, and an eventual slacking if it lives all the way. There's no catch up here until we have a fishing rod, right? Correct. Okay. Well, I think there there's an item on the five. beach, though. There is indeed. Give it. Poison gem. Worthless. Thank you. Thank you for this pile of garbage you've given me. Well, if by worthless you mean worth exactly 500. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It is worth less. Then what else could have been there, I guess? For sure. <laughs> You don't become a slacking until, like, level 36, I think, though, so that's a whole... I thought it was level 50 or something. No, I think Gen 3 was a little nicer than that. Fair enough. Hmm. I don't want to waste We do get a catch in Rustboro Cut Cave. I don't want to waste any more money on potions, because soon we're going to be getting uh, lemonades and stuff, I think. Are we? I thought it was the next town that has them... There's a oh, there is a, a vending machine in the gym. Yeah, a vending machine of fresh water, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's only uh, that's only in the new gen ones. I always forget because they aren't in the original emerald. Correct. Should we head to the cave? I am Cape killing this. I'm I'm slapping this small child in the butt. That's uh illegal. Don't don't do it. Don't do that. <laughs> don't commit crimes, please. <laughs> no crimes. <laughs> Knock it off. Uh, I don't want to leave Long Selic out against that slugma. Mm. I want to like I want to be like oh I'm like five levels up but I keep being horribly humiliated by shit like that so I'm just not gonna do it anymore. Horribly humiliated. The Pokemon way. Mm-hmm. I wish I had fire eyebrows that didn't hurt me or anything else. Yeah, or just you know fire body parts in general. I it's want fun. I want aesthetic slots. I want to be able to. I want to be able to wear full plate armor, but have aesthetically it look like uh, flowing silks. That's yes. that's really what I want. Now we're cooking. Does Murder. that four hit my aerodactyl? Nope. All right. <laughs> All bugs. All bugs and grass. Feed my dinosaur. 
Uh, zombie, I assume you mean you want to be able to put on uh, normal clothing and have it look like full plate armor. Is that is that uh, is that what I'm getting? Because I totally get that. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It only makes you look cool though. <laughs> it's not actual protection. Um, did we add the would you rather uh, function to our? Uh... Uh, oh no! I you know what? I should have changed it. I added one from the last time I played Horizon Zero Dawn that was a uh, take a shot of whatever I was drinking. So the, ignore that one, everyone. Thank you for the follow, Fern. We I can hear the fucking thing, man. I want to hear it. Yeah, what me too. Sound. Let's swap out. They have the option for story time to do a hypothetical question. That's, that's right fair. Now. That's fair. Not that I have one, so don't jump on it. But you know. You're still waiting on a World War II rant, I think. Oh, no, not World War II. Civil War. Was it Civil War? Oh, the movie. Okay. Yeah. I was actually really interested about it in the beginning because I was like, wow, I want to hear a Civil War rant from the actual Civil War. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna lay it down best I can. All right. So uh, the first thing that needs to be clarified is whether or not you've read the comic Civil War versus watch the movie or both, because in the comic book, the the big issue is it's in the Marvel Cinematic Universe where uh, the Mutant Registration Act is a big problem and people are really worried about it and like, hey, let's not register people just for being alive. Um, but then this particular shithead, whose name I can't remember, I want to say it was like Cannonball or something like that, gets cornered by a team of new dipshits and in the process uh, detonates himself, blowing up a whole bunch of kids. And uh, needless to say, child murder is a huge catalyst uh, mm -hmm. and it causes people to freak the fuck out. And suddenly the Mutant Registration Act, but more specifically the Metahuman Re Registration Act, is on the table again. Not only is it on the table, look, it's looking like it's going to pass. Tony Stark is all like, hey, holy shit, guys, you realize that we can't just let people walk around with all this dangerous shit under their belt. And Cap's like, hey, guys, uh, I don't think people should be registered for being alive, and it's not their choice, and can we not, please? Um, mm -hmm. And so needless to say, it causes a massive war, and that's where the movie or the comic book Civil War comes from. I strongly recommend it. It is extremely good. It, it ends beautifully and heartbreakingly, and it's just very, very excellent. There's also the, a lot of them. Yes. The movie, on the other hand, is hot garbage for this core premise, because here's the problem. Captain America has no ground to stand on in this argument. He, his premise, from a moral perspective, is totally understandable. Okay, yeah, we, we, you know, we can't necessarily be beholden to a international group of people and uh, not be able to act when something needs to be acted upon. I get that. Okay. But here's the thing. No one is, literally, if they want to do humanitarian shit uh, without being consulted, they can just do it. They're superheroes. Like, what are they going to do? Nothing. Like, they can just sign the paperwork and still do all their hero shit. And if they, and what are they going to do? Say, uh, no, you're not allowed to go out and do shit? No. Nobody's going to fight them. And they're all, they're all best friends. So it's not like the Avengers are going to hunt down Cap because he went and stopped a fucking volcano from killing people. I don't know, which Cap can't do, but whatever. <laughs> So yeah, how did Cap pull that one off? <laughs> right. And then and then here's the other problem. Uh, in this world, there are no mutants. Literally every single superhero was made or chose to be that way. Uh, Captain America was give, was made that way by the super soldier voluntarily. Uh, Tony Stark built his own armor. Hulk was made by his own hubris. Uh, Black Widow and and uh, and Hawkeye are both, you know, were just really well trained and volunteered mostly for all that. So what you have is a lot of people who voluntarily basically picked up weapons and he's basically and he's having this whole problem and he even like tries to cite the, the holocaust as this issue for the handful of people who are technically superheroes in this world all of whom were created by somebody or created themselves i'm like he just has no ground to stand on it's like what what is your argument that people shouldn't like that that we should only be accountable to the u.s government that we should act as like a, a military task force on behalf of the on behalf of only the u.s mm -hmm. and meanwhile the rest of the country just gets to jerk off or the rest of the world gets to just jerk off and do nothing Thing. Well, now in the MCU, Wanda's still a mutant. She's not a mutant. She was created by the by the Mind Stone by uh, uh, by, uh Hydra. Hydra with the Mind Stone uh, turned both of the uh, Romanovs into superheroes after they were killed. Their family was Didn't killed in Sarkovia. Yeah, in Sarkovia. In in the comic book, they're mutants because they're they're Magneto's kids. Yeah. But yeah, in in this world, she, they were both created by the Mind Stone. It's weird, though, just because I know, like, in the new... Well, I mean, they're they're continuing on tying in the the Marvel movies with the, like, original X-Men movies, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Isn't that basically going to make the that, mutant that's stuff the canonical? Hope. That's the hope. But, yeah, like, 
it just it's just such a bullshit argument and then like and then like everything that proceeds from that is really hard to buy uh, and yeah, it's just like, I just don't feel like uh, Captain America would have had any issue with that, especially since as a consequence of World War II, we had the UN, which he would have been on board with. And that's exactly what they're trying to do is they're trying to say, hey, we need to create a security council that can dictate whether or not this group of uh, extra legal uh, unilateral psychopaths with superpowers are allowed to just walk in and do a bunch of shit that could totally fuck over a lot of people. That, but then, then there's the additional problem where, like, literally none of the conflicts that people have regarding politics make any sense in the world that they're using them in. And they would only have made sense in a completely different environment where different things had happened. It's like, okay, well, this guy was going to rob a, rob a place, take a powerful, you know, mega weapon and then kill a bunch of people with it. We had to stop him. And unfortunately, there was some collateral damage. Well, yeah, okay, you know collateral damage happens and we can't really avoid that and you know okay we'll send humanitarian aid and do what we can but in the end we need to be trained up and we need to be more cautious in the future but like what are we what's our other alternative is just let let bad people amass huge amounts of dangerous weapons <laughs> like, yeah. like uh, yeah so it's just it's just such a hard thing to buy and again i'm not saying that there's anything morally wrong with his position his morally speaking he's correct but it's only justifiable in so far as it doesn't as it fits in the world and in this particular world with the events that have played out you're just like what what is your argument what's your position <laughs> and then his like his like moralizing about the holocaust I'm like this has nothing to do with that dude and you're being super insulting by just like conjuring up other people's suffering as a justification for your arbitrary decisions hmm. i'm trying to think if there's any examples of people who were just born with their powers in mcu i can't think of any yeah, it's just the MCV. The only other exception is uh, people who are aliens, but they're not super powered because of birth. They're they're super powered because of birth, but all of them are super powered because of birth. All the scroll are superhuman. Mm -hmm. So it's it's hard to asking for attention. I can get that, but yeah, it, yeah, it's it's just hard to do. And I guess maybe my biggest problem is that I specifically came from reading the comic, and I really loved the comic, and I got really excited when I saw it. And I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, give me that comic. And then it was just like, nope. I think when I went into the movie, I had so much of the comic like still in my head that I just kind of glossed over things because I'm like coming into it like they're just doing a movie version of the comic. I don't have to worry about all this continuity. If yeah. It's just, yay. And then I know exactly where Cap's coming from. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it's like, I, and for me, my biggest issue here is just generally, if you're making a film, you need to be aware of just what's going on in your world and how justifiable people's actions are relative to that world you've created. And in this one, it's just like, I just don't buy it, man. It's so hard to believe. Hmm. But I get it. It's comic books. And they need. It was more of a, this, this fight is happening because the plot needs it to happen. And I hate that. If that's ever happening in your story, stop, think about it, and change it. Yeah, I mean, it was coming right off of Captain America basically having to, like, single-handedly re-overthrow S.H.I.E.L.D. after they got, like, taken over by HYDRA. True. Uh, I guess it could be part of it. It's be like, yeah, let's give our power over to government agencies who cannot protect themselves from being taken over by High Cobra. Oh, yeah, if he leaned on that, if he's like, I really think that our individual autonomy is important and I don't feel like... yeah, Or if he, literally all we'd have to do is say, oh, as far as, like, government politics shit goes, we're not going to go in and be enter into a war yeah, zone. Yeah. But I that will wasn't not. His argument. Yeah, that wasn't his argument, and that's honestly this is this is genuinely one of the biggest problems I have with human beings overall is that they will make really shitty arguments for good points, and I go, well, hold on, that argument is not valid, and then they get angry at me, and they're like, you always argue with everything I say. I'm like, no, man, it's just a shitty argument. Can you please focus on the one that makes much more sense over here? And then they just refuse, and it's it's a constant source of aggravation for me. I made it partway into the cave and I realized I needed to stop before I encounter. That is absolutely fair. I'm sorry that I am delayed. I shouldn't have avoided the fights in the cut area. I just uh, wanted to get that item and it wasn't worth it. That's fair. Booger bear. All they had to do was mention mutants once. You are absolutely correct. If at any point somebody had been like, and then there's also the mutants and they go, good point, Cap. <laughs> like, uh no, they legally couldn't, because uh, they are not, they do not own it. But 
but couldn't they have just like used a term like referencing like metahumans or something? Like they don't have to say like X Men. If they if they in order to do that, they would have had to show examples of people being metahumans and born that way. If they had done that, I would have been like, that's totally fine. But there was sure, like, but they've no... got all of the Marvel universe to pull from. I'm sure there's a like, more than a handful yeah. of non mutant metahumans in the Marvel universe. Yeah. No, it's it's just so awkward because then they like try to force people into being on certain sides, and they don't even have like good justifications for them choosing those sides. And you're just like, all right, well, well, and the whole like the two half sides of the Avengers fighting over it was like background noise to Cap and just trying to get to Bucky. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, no, totally. And then yeah, and that whole su like subplot of like I'm going to destroy them with themselves, and it's like, wait, what? <laughs> like. Any time in a world where there is mind control, there should literally be no debate about culpability. It should just be like, "Oh, I was under mind control, dude." He's like, oh, "Okay, that's fair. You didn't, you didn't kill my mom. Some jackass used you to kill my mom." It's like, it's like right. if somebody, it's like if somebody shot your mom with a gun, and you like spent your life hunting down the gun and hammered the shit out of it, and you're like, "Yeah, I got him." Yeah, and it's someone like who's supposed to be as smart as Tony, not understanding like yeah. fucking mind control. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah. Just bold irrationality. Um so I got a Duosion. Yeah, and I got a uh I got a Sand Slash. He's pretty tanky, right? They're both uh Duosion? Yeah. Once he's fully evolved, he is exceptionally tanky. Can he? But right eat... now his special attack is like 100 all uh, from every stage. Could he eat my tackle? Mm, level 9 versus 14. You do have an attack dropping nature. I do. Tackle. But I also have pure power, so whatever. Or no, that's that's Wyvern. Noivern. Yes. Uh, Don Quixote can definitely hit this thing with a cut because I am a very fragile bell. And Sand Slash is big tanks. Yeah, thank you for uh, giving me an opportunity to rant about that. It's one of the biggest frustrations I have in the Marvel Universe was just that movie. And what kills me most is that everybody fucking loved it. They were like, this is the best one yet. I'm like, no one's motivations make sense. What are you talking about? People don't kill people. Guns kill people. So I kill guns. Exactly. <laughs> Right? You're just like, what, what fucking logic is that, dude? Oh, nice. What did fucking Sweet Veil do? Oh, good. Roll out. Here it comes. Hey, mine used to roll out just before I got him. Uh, time to use the Pokeballs. I'm like, I have to use a Great Ball just because I'm nervous about roll out now. That's swell. Thanks, Sand Slash. I will say, though, that, like, of all of the things people got angry about, I am really pissed that nobody seemed to be that angry about Tony Stark creating uh, Ultron. Like, there was, like, this brief tiff, and that was it. And meanwhile, like, hey, guys, I don't think we should necessarily be beholden to uh, large governmental powers. And that turns into this massive explosive conflict. But meanwhile, Tony Stark creates literal fucking doomsday nightmare robot, and they're like, that's ah, fine. It's uh, cool. <laughs> he's still rolling out, and I can't catch him with great balls. Uh, ooh, do you, you should do. Catch him with great balls. <laughs> uh, first, I'm going to switch into Sam Smelliot, who resists a lot. Yeah. That's the best I can do. I've only, I've got maybe two or three rollouts left in me. Okay, we're fine. Ah, yeah, you got to bit it. But I can't catch him. I've like, no shook. Two great balls in a row. He's a fucking sand slash. Hmm. Get in that shit. One. Duh. Come on. No. Nope. Jesus, man. This thing's beastly. Uh, I'm going to do myself a beautiful favor. And honestly, I consider it a favor to everybody. Uh, I'm going to flip my camera vertically. No, yeah, not vertically. Perfect. Horizontally. This doesn't help. <laughs> I mean, it helps me a little. <laughs> this is terrible. No, I wanted to flip it horizontally because I wanted to be able to look to my right and be looking at you. Mm. It's such a dumb side note, but it's very important to me. I cannot catch this piece of turd. What a little butt nut. I'm going to potion my Don Quixote. What the fuck? Why is there no... 
you can just use the uh, the marquee to so that you use to select your window in OBS and just literally flip it. All right. If you want to save a jeton. Hey. And now I just look weird. But that's okay. And so nothing's changed. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this is now I'm just really... gonna what? I'm just gonna look this way the whole time. <laughs> Make it look shitty and dumb. <clears throat> this is good. I like this. Okay, sweet veil is something that apparently makes it so I can't put it to sleep. Mm. Oh, it might be just prevent status moves. Maybe. I'm pretty mm. sure that's what white smoke's supposed to do, but whatever. One, two, please. Oh. Thank oh! you. God, I don't even want you that bad. I mean, you're no. great. You're fine. He's an Not acceptable Pokemon. Very middle of the road. What did you catch? Oh yeah, the uh, the Duosian, the little 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 ball friend, the little cell. Friend. I don't like this. I don't like what's happening. What happened? My game might be frozen. Did your game freeze up? Did you not just go to a different window or something on accident? I made you wait a long time. It is frozen. It is? Not what responding. Happened when you fucked with OBS? Full on not responding. Uh-oh. Am I going to have to super speed to catch back up? That's a lot of stuff. Have you saved before the gym? <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> okay. Uh... Cool. Can you save state and then reset and see if it just happens to have caught that particular think, piece I of data? don't think that's going to happen. I don't think so either, but i got no other ideas. Yeah, the program is fully locked. Uh, all right, folks. Please wait. Please just respond, though. Can please? Yeah, that's ridiculous. Know. That's fully busted. Good. Well, Should awesome. Should I name this sand slash? <laughs> Yeah. Oh boy, this is gonna be so fucking fresh. Well, you have a second because Pickles is like climbing onto me to get more attention, so I'll just. Law, I totally me. saved after Noivern. Hell yeah. Baby, 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 oh. That's not much catch up at all. Not at all. I will take it. You just need to catch a Servine and then uh, everything's good. Correct. No, don't fight the bug. What's that, Pickles? You want to say something? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good cat. She's a baby. They had a fresh cat there. She's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Those eyes. Little goblin, go! Okay, so you caught a roly-poly. And this is a this is kind of a hedgehog. So what about the Sonic, the Knuckles? <laughs> Sonic the Knuckles. <laughs> um, shit. What did I get? A Duosian, which is a ball, which Sonic does turn into. Duosian. Well, he becomes more of a. Uh, oh, he's uh, an Eggman. <laughs> he looks like a, a bear. Like he looks like a psychic, like goo bear. He looks like a gummy bear with a skull in it. <laughs> yes, he does. Why am I fighting this Weavile? God, what's wrong with me? Um, gummy bear with a skull in it. But also kind of Eggman-y. He does definitely look Eggman-y, but stop trying to force your Sonic narrative on my beautiful <laughs> child. <laughs> I feel like it's my duty to make sure there's as much Sonic narrative as many things as I can. <laughs> okay. Um, please give so me my... Looks like he's made of, he looks like he's made of jam. He does. He looks like uh, like lime jello, like jello mold. So what are... <laughs> What about Sonic and Smuckles? <laughs> we gotta go something better than Sonic, though. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Smuckles <laughs> is not bad. <laughs> Smuckles is makes me. Smuckles make me giggle. Um, I can't think of a play on Sonic for the life of me, except for like the burger joint. Ah. Uh. There we go. Great ball. Get the goddamn Servine. Right. I forgot we named him Long Selic. <laughs> I 
What about Seanic? Just Sean. Seanic. Well, we did do Sean. Uh, Sean Duffy. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Sean Duffy. We did have Sean Duffy, which was still one of my favorite names we've ever had. What a fucking great name! It's such a fucking uh, weird name for a goddamn Pokemon. <laughs> Sean Duffy. Uh. Okay, we're in those boxes. Get my boy. boy. What, about, what about Quill a Quill? What is that? Oh, Kill La Kill. It, yeah. Um. Hmm. That's not Snonic. That's non synonical. <laughs> It's nonsense. Um, uh, Smegmagenesis. Gross. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> like gross, man. That was uncalled for. <coughs> Marty McHogg? <laughs> what is Marty McHogg? <laughs> Is that a Back to the Future reference mixed with Sonic? <laughs> and if so, why? Because <laughs> it's yellow? I don't get that. I mean, I love the name Marty McHogg, but I don't need it. <laughs> I mean, anything that has the word hog in it makes it ten times funnier to me personally. Agreed. Why did I not get rid of Supersonic? That is a way better, worse move. What is wrong with me? Okay. Z, run. I'm not gonna bother with the fights. Just gonna get to the place I need to go. Oh my god, with the catches. Noivern versus Noivern. Hmm. Try to think of other entertainment things that remind me of hedgehogs and gelatin. All right, I can't run. Um, gust. Hmm. Hedgehogs and gelatin. No, I don't want to make any Bill Cosby jokes, because fuck that guy. No. Hmm. What about J-Lo? <laughs> That's rough. <laughs> Struggle bug in exchange for quick attack. Um, Yeah, I don't know, man. Goo, he's a goo child. A weird gooey boy. Oh, there's the duosion. Perfect. Mm. I need to figure out a good way to hurt this thing. Well, Def Leopard seems like the best choice because it's fucking mm -hmm, resist psychic mm -hmm. completely. Who don't use that again. You. No. Perfect. Is there, is there another female pop star besides J-Lo that I could name a Sand True after? <laughs> Why? Why is it important that you name it a Sand True? Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. We're supposed to be doing movies, dog. We, I thought we said entertainment. I thought we were specifically going with, like, visual media. Okay. Well, then, do we include shows? Yeah, shows and TV, I thought. Okay. Okay. No, I, I genuinely misunderstood. I thought it was just, like, vague whatever entertainment. Hogs of our life. <laughs> um, let's see here. For goo movies, the big one is the Blob, but that's such a terrible or, name. Or Flubber. Flubber, <laughs> yes. Uh, Patch Adams. What about Blob and Williams? Blob and Blob and Williams is pretty good. Um. Is there, is there an actor that sounds like Shrew? Shrew Barrymore? Shrew Barrymore. Oh, it's a boy, but I don't really care, actually. 
I don't actually care. I think Blob and Williams and Shrew Barrymore is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Shrew Barrymore is not bad. I'm just holding off in case something else pops in my head, but I'm not opposed. Man, I can't fit shit on this, huh? I can badly spell William, but not <laughs> Billy Blobbins. Have Billy Blobbins for you. Sandra Bullock's not bad. I know that's not how you spell Barrymore, folks, but that's all I can fit. Ah, oh, there's no R in True. I'm ruined. I think Barrymore's too long. Fuck. I can't. I can't. I can do Bill Blobbins, but that's like, that's the best I can do. Bill, Bill Bilbo Blobbins. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. Yeah, I got Bill Blob. <laughs> Sorry, folks. What Gener is even? What even is that? Because he's Robin Williams, but William turns into right. Bill uh, Williams. So Williams turns into Blobbins. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just you fucking swap them because it's Blobbin, but it's yeah, yeah. Will. Bu <laughs> it's oh, oh, Quill Smith. Quill Smith opposite my beautiful boy. The, oh man, and Bill, uh, fucking Will Smith specifically played the genie, which was also played by Robin Williams in Aladdin. Ah, that's beautiful. And they're both Wills. They are also both Wills. Quill Smith and Bill, Bill Blobbins. <laughs> oh no wait, the, huh? we need to figure out what to do about this cave. There's only one encounter table in this cave. Oh, well we could um, bust rocks. Uh, I don't think we have a rock <coughs> smash yet. <clears throat> you are correct. Hmm. We come back when we do, but that's going to be fucking ages. Yeah. Um, is that really just oh, the I'm one encounter close. table? Yeah, it's it's Audino. He's the only one that lives in here. Not Audino. Oh, uh, Wismer. God, you figured there'd be uh, more than one level, and that would swap those out, but I guess not. Uh, Sand True and Duosion. Well, Pichu. Pichu, 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 Pichu. Let's fight the boy. It's time to fight this seagull boy. He stole the bird. <laughs> Beautiful. It's good music right there. That's how I do. Fuck you, Pichu. Get out of my noise. Shredbacher. <laughs> Shredbacher is such a good fucking name. <laughs> no, why did you turn into him? Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not good. That's not good in the least. No, that's not good or fresh. Finish him off, Servine. Oof. Oofa doofa. Why do you outspeed me? You're a level lower. Not cool. Oh, that doesn't do enough. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Mm. I mean, I don't have to worry about Kakuna. It's literally my two boys versus an Aerodactyl. But boy, is he is he an Aerodactyl? He definitely is. I've noticed. Oh, I locked myself into Encore or Uproar. That's that's good and smart. Should be okay as long as I use this turn to heal. When do we get Rock Smash in this game? Uh, when you're on the, the other side town? of this tunnel. You get it Isn't on whatever. Isn't that strength? Uh, no, because you need, you need uh, Rock Smash to get through this tunnel. And you get it, I think. You get it from the karate guy who's standing there when you come through here. If I remember correctly. I, th I think. The karate guy is the word. That's what they're called, this karate guy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now that you're no longer locked into the outrage, I can heal you with your own turn. <sighs> Finish him. Go. Monkey and bird. Dinosaur. Hell yes. Pterodactyl. Ah, old Terry Dictile. 
Oh, good. Another normal type move for me to have learned and attack with. God, most def, most def leopard's a fucking waste anyway. I'm just going to teach it cut. Mm -hmm. I do have claws. It tracks. Conceptually, at least. If not quality. Devon parts. <laughs> Hey, Briny, how come you're wearing a life jacket when you're not on the road? I get cold. Omega Junior, thank you for the follow. Ah, oh, nice name, Omega Junior. That's very fresh. I think that the noises are delayed, but not gone. <clears throat> yeah, they've, they're very delayed. They're like a couple minutes behind. Yeah, not looking forward to the sound of that coming in, because now I know it's coming. I've got a whole Hitchcock thing going right now. Anticipation of the bang. Which sounds like a great porn title. It does. I was going to say that's like every date. <laughs> Anticipation of the bang. There it is. It is. Also, apparently, uh, Fernando X D Ferdes. I did mention Fern. Fern? Oh, I okay. That's why I didn't associate it. I read Fernando immediately. <laughs> Yeah, my brain just said Fern, because that's like the same thing. Sure. Fern and Ferd are the same. Ferndinand. <laughs> Ferndando. This Ferndile Earth. I already killed this kid, so I'm just going to super speed through this. Because I don't want to do it. You killed him, huh? I did. I killed this child. Oh, shit. My, my, my day suddenly turns to night. <laughs> yeah, mine got dark when I left the cave, too. So we're both playing in the same time zone, which is really what happened, but weird timing. Thanks for the G ball, G slice. Oh my god, so many goddamn catches, fights, fights rather. Catch a fights, a fight, catches, a vain battle. <laughs> I did summon Jerry Lewis there for a second, I guess. Wait, I'm overanalyzing very small details of this game right now. Why are there curtains behind the curtains? Why is there double curtains? I don't know. That's the bad look. This That's is a really dumb office. Bad. This hey, dumb. your office is very <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Fucking teal and rust orange. Like, what kind of combo is that? Mm. High contrast. Double curtains are not great. I'm sorry. You're wrong. <laughs> some people like like a, a gossamer curtain and then with a better curtain underneath it but okay well if it's like a runner or something like that i could see some some room to argue but these are both like completely opaque heavy curtains <laughs> it's like having a second set of bed sheets just because people okay Fans, people out there, anybody who's here who sets up their bed, like, makes their bed. Why? Why? Can you why, please? Why do you do it? Why do you make I don't your even, bed? I don't even like sheets. I'm just going to say it. Who makes bed? Like, I, like I put a... a soft blanket. Period. I put a sheet. I put a fitted sheet on my mattress, and that's sure. it. Yeah, fitted sheet. I sometimes put a like a blanket on top of that, but I don't. You, I don't lie under it. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. I have one. I have one very light, soft blanket that I literally use all year long. It's always the best thing for me. I have three. I have three blanket layers. I have. I have my base layer, which is a comforter that has very nice, uh, soft, almost silky texture to it, and has very little weight. Uh, then I have a quilt that goes over that, which is very heavy, uh, a little bit rougher texture, but fine. And then over that, I have a thick, heavy wool blanket. The, the outer two layers are there to create weight and trap heat. If it is winter, I use all three. If it is autumn or spring, I use the first two. If it is summer, I use the only the, the lowest one. Perfect layering, good times. Uh, for me, that's too much blanket. I like weight. I like heavy. I do shit. not. 
I will have a panic attack. Just thinking about actual weighted blankets, I'm like, skin crawl. Really interesting. Yeah, I'd fucking love it. I, it's one of the reasons why I absolutely revile hotel rooms, because they always have that, like, down comforter, which is, like, non-existent. It's just, like, there's nothing on your body, and I hate it. Stresses yeah, those me Those are out. just, in general, bad blankets. They're really fucking bad, man. They're bad. See, here's my only problem with the whole getting into a freshly made bed thing, is I like to wrap myself up in my blankets, and when it's freshly made, as you say, it's just, a, it's like a, it's like a pita. You're, like, crawling into this big pita, and I hate it. I don't know where you get that guillotine, because I specifically watch, um... I, like, just literally today, I watched a house cleaning person pull uh, a comforter out to be washed. So I don't, I don't know where you're getting that. <laughs> I have two friends in Montana that literally clean hotels for a living, and they definitely wash every comforter. Yeah, I think that's why they use the uh, the down comforter is because they, um, they, they dry easy. No! Okay, there's a difference between sleeping with a weighted blanket and having bondage. Yeah. <laughs> old jerk that pees the bed sometimes. <laughs> this dog's an old jerk. <laughs> oh, puppy. <laughs> Well, they they don't they don't wash them themselves. They ship them out. Like most most places that do large amounts of laundry, they don't do them internally. They they ship them out to the places to do it for them. Because you can, it's super cheap to just like have them take like hundreds of loads all at once. Yeah, like restaurants don't wash their own bar rags and stuff. They have a service that comes and swaps them out. Yeah. Same with blankies. At least all the chain restaurants or hotels. Yeah. Another gem. How good and useful and good. Not at all bad. And very good. <coughs> all I heard was take hundreds of loads all at once. <laughs> yeah. You and your mom. No, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there are certain hotels that don't bother to wash their shit or if, if like, some some countries don't really have much of a culture of, of washing things often. But uh, I, I go to hotels on a very regular basis, and I think I'm pretty sure they always wash their stuff. I also know uh, firsthand what a uh, unwashed uh, duvet smells like, and uh, that ain't them. Yeah. It sounds like it sounds like the whole like MSG thing. Like uh, hotels don't wash their comforters. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm sure some don't. I mean Obviously, one one of those one of those myths that I still uh, am am curious about and kind of believe is that uh, Wendy's uses the meat scrapings from their grill in their chili. That just doesn't sound consistent at all. Like the, there's so much variation well, from every single grill scrapings. Yeah, so somebody who worked at a Wendy's, Wendy's told me that, and then I, I believe it, if only because when I was working at KFC, I know that all of their uh, shredded barbecue chicken stuff was just the, the, the last day's uh, breasts pulled apart. Yeah, absolutely. And, like, so, I mean, reusing stuff is, is a very common trend in fast food. Uh, totally. I just mean, if, you have, if you've ever worked with, like, a flat top that gets loaded up, like, the, the difference between what's on there from one minute to the next is vast. Yeah, that's fair. Because places like that, they had their recipes have to be perfectly consistent. It has to match the calories on their website. They can't like kind of free ball any ratios. I will also say though that I do not mind the idea of girl scrapings being used in chili. That not just a, sounds not like in extra the fucking slightest. Flavor. But no, that's is, a great idea. It does. It just reads like one of those mythological things that you know got blown out of proportion because a couple places did it. Um, yeah, like Jack in the Box using kangaroo meat or some shit. <laughs> Which I'll say I don't care. They're not predators, so I don't give a shit. Why would you use such an expensive meat? What's what's the myth here? Well, I know that kangaroo for a long time was wildly overpopulating Australia, and so they were encouraged to kill them on mass. Oh yeah, they were they were land purchase. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it just seems like such a weird thing to do. Honestly, I don't I don't get the the hesitation about any kind of meat. 
Uh, except predator meat, because the high risk of uh, parasites. Right. And boy, is there a risk of parasites. Also, mercury. Why have I still not equipped the quick claw? Who am I give it to? Who am I give it to? Um, yeah. It's the this it is literally like the only reason why I'm hesitant about eating tuna on mass is because it's an uh, apex predator and gigantic, and so it has a really high mercury content. I just never eat that much tuna. I I like actual fresh tuna. I really am not a huge fan of canned tuna, except with like a bit of uh, mac and cheese. Yeah, I'll definitely toss some in the mac and cheese. I want to know what kangaroo tastes like. But even then, like, I, it's not that I don't like fresh tuna. I think it tastes very, very lovely. It's just, it's usually on the menu with other seafood that I'm always more inclined to get. Yes, that's fair. I would rather have a swordfish than a tuna, for example. If I'm going to have a steak sure. of fish, then I'd rather be, rather be a swordfish. But we're about to get, like, four catches. Like I said, yeah, there's a, and we can actually get the rod and go back and get, like, three more. Oh, yes. Please. Um... So where is Rodman? Where is Dennis Rodman? There he is. <laughs> I saw the fucking predator and I later turned my brain for a working one. That's fair. <laughs> I don't even know how the fuck you're supposed to Okay. One of the best ways I can think of to annoy a Predator fan is to try and pronounce whatever the fuck uh, name the alien race has. I think it's supposed to be it's like spelled like Yatja or something. And it's supposed to be pronounced like Yanji or some shit. It's really fucking stupid. But I had a guy get like really angry at me for uh, mispronouncing the, the the racial name for the predators. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Hey, chief, what a I don't give a fandom to get really a buttered about. Oh yeah, and dude, the, for some reason, pre like predator alien fans are weirdly obsessive and like super annoying. So if this is 107, right? You're on 107 too. Yes, correct. What button is the register button? Uh, okay, it's, it's Y. Yeah. <laughs> hey, first try. Oh, reeled it in too slow, you bitch. Ooh, that's an Alakazam. He's going to teleport away. Throw a ball. He's going to teleport away. Throw the great ball. Get him anyway. <sighs> so I like green as Predator me. <laughs> I mean, I guess in a weird bladder way. <laughs> I want to see what you get before I. Well, just throw the great ball, hard. like, because. Because there's two possibilities. Either I get something that is catchable or I get something that's not catchable. Either way, you're going to have to throw a great ball. That's I a recatch. Yeah. No, I, the thing is, I could save the great ball. Here's the thing. If you have just, like, a normal encounter and it goes fine, yes, I throw the great ball, absolutely. But if you happen to, like, lose your normal catch, and I'm already stuck in, like, a probably not going to well, work out well, hold up. catch. The logic, the logic of that doesn't really track for me, because the way it should work is the person who has the least likely catch makes their attempt. And then... Uh, whatever, whatever. I'll just... I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> Because we know you, you're only going to lose one ball at most. Mm -hmm. Unless it inexplicably chooses something other than teleport. Which I doubt. If it does, it's because it's an Alakazam and not an Abra, but I don't know what that does to its early moveset. <coughs> Two. Hello. Three. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Oh, did you just get an Alakazam on, on one ball? I did. It was oh a full health. Oh, my God. Life. Okay. Okay, all right. Now the pressure's on. Oh, no. Hey, it's another Snakeman. It's going to be this, I think, the whole time. I think there's more than... I mean, it's going to be a lot of that, but I do think you can also get, like, tentacruels here. Tentacruels here. Alakazam looks like his mustache got shot off by a cartoon shotgun. Carvana. Hey, look, it's a carnivine. I'll take, I'll take a carvana. No irony. I love Sharpedo. I think Sharpedo is a really good competitive Pokemon. I'm just going to start with a Pokeball since it's level five and it's a tier one. Yeah, it's a little baby. Okay, no. This isn't going to work. 
Ugh. Ooh, Kazam is not a bad reference to use for an Alakazam. Kazam is not bad at all. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot follow that up by naming mine Shaq Fu. <laughs> No, what if I name this thing Sinbad just to treat all people? <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I am I am like 80% sure we specifically named an Alakazam Sinbad. At one. No, no, we named a um one of the 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 Wind Genie. The Wind Genie was named oh. Sinbad. I'm pretty sure oh. we had that exact joke. That might have been true. Uh Flint Eastwood with Ember. What do you think of that? I don't know. He's almost um, 17, so I'm pretty sure yeah. anything's going to ace this thing. Yeah, I don't. I think you just have maybe try a great ball. Ah, uh, Christ. I'm going to open it. Um, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Yes, good fish. Hey. Ball. There it is, baby. Um, Keanu something uh because there is no spoon yeah because there's no spoon okay um okay. and then what is what is carnivore where we're carvana oh yeah that's a good point um well there's jaws and piranha are both very obvious movies um, uh, how about doll's eyes <laughs> <laughs> doll's eyes is not bad <coughs> Uh, is there um, a really awesome name from Jaws, one of the characters that I can't think of? Not that immediately jumps to mind. Okay. That went somewhere in my head. It meant Oral Redenbacher. I am morally opposed to naming anything after anything in Sharknado. Um, uh, sharks, though. Sharks, Shark Week. Um, uh, Shark Week is fun. Open water. Uh, what was the Will Smith movie that was a fish? Oh, uh, shit. I forgot. The one that was like right on the tail of Finding Nemo. Will yeah, kind of Smith of fish movie. I think it was probably called something like The Fish Sh Thing. It's literally called Shark Tale. <laughs> Why is shark named shit so not clever? I mean, I could name it Megan. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> what am I missing? Uh, Megalodon. Oh, I got you. Okay, that makes sense. Um. <laughs> okay, that's so bad. Uh, my instinct was to name it. Um. This is going to be so bad, but eat your pussy because I was thinking of John Barrowman in, uh, what was it, Jaws 3D, where he's like, out, literally, like, immediately after they almost die, uh, he just turns to the woman and is like, how about we go back to my place and we eat your pussy? And it's just oh, like, yeah. what? <laughs> so this is a female Alakazam. How do you feel about Dom and Matrix? Dom, okay, we've got that same problem of following up a sound with the same sound again, and it's stressing me out. We already have Not, David Hasselhoff. No problem for me. No problem <laughs> for me. I hate that, and I hate you. Um, I'm the only one that has to say it. Uh, uh shit. What's a good... Sh there's gotta be a good shark name. What is... Uh, Deep Blue Sea. sea. Uh, we can also just create puns off of the existing names, but, uh, mm -hmm. let's see. I'm keeping Dama Matrix in my back pocket. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very deep in the back pocket, please. <laughs> um, then, I mean, at this point, it's not a shark yet. It could also just be fish related. Sure. There, like, but gills or fin what about what other fish movies are there finding nemo <laughs> <laughs> uh i mean finding, the only other shark nemo. reference that, the only other shark reference that's coming to mind for me is austin powers with the sharks with the laser beams on their head okay yeah alternatively mutated sea bass is a good name 
Would mutated sea bass fit? Because that's not a bad name. A real big fish. Mutant sea bass. Mutant sea bass will almost mean. fit. Uh, you can do the letter C. Sea <laughs> bass. Oh, kick his ass sea bass is another one that comes to mind. Just name it sea bass. <laughs> like the guy at Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Just, I don't hate it. <laughs> sea bass. Um, well, it's, it's the Alakazam. I mean, there's lots of movies about magic magicos. Mm hmm. Magikins. What was the. Oh, uh, Shape of Water. That's what you're thinking of. I mean, Abe Sapien, but we already had a, a mudkip named Abe Sapien. I believe it was our first ever. It was the first Pokemon we named in a Pokemon game. Yeah, that is the first one we've ever named together. That is crazy. Um, Alakazam. So let's see here. We got to go down the list. Genies. I've um, already done like Chris Angel type reference. You did do a Chris Angel type reference. Um, ah, boy. Houdini. The magic Man. <laughs> Houdingus. <laughs> Whizbiz. <laughs> Whizbiz. <coughs> um. Gandalf. There's not a joke. I just said Gandalf. <laughs> I'm sorry. You said the word Gandalf. Um, uh, Gandalf Lundgren. Gandalf Lundgren. <laughs> I can't even fit a half of that in here. Gandalf Lundgren. Actually, I think that would probably fit. Because really? Gandalf, that's, yeah, that's 14 characters. Oh, no, you only have 12. Ah. Uh. It's close. No way. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Longer. Oh my god, I hate these names so much. <coughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. Just go with Gandalf Lundgren. Done and done. We have another. We have to do a few <laughs> catches on this route. Oh my god! And all of our creative juice oh. is gone. Oh, on this but also, route. Also, like this, this in the encounter table here is fucked. Though, do we want to just do? Do you want to pair adjacent routes on this island? That means we lose out on catches, though. Yeah, one. But it also means we don't have to sit here for twenty minutes and try to catch something other than an Alakazam and a Carvana. As long as we get a token for a later catch. Oh. Or we could wait till we get the Great Rod and do it that way. Yeah, that sucks. Let's try a couple casts and see if we get anything. Well, okay, I, I know I won't. No, I, this is this is next door. Oh. <coughs> I know I'm not going to get it because there's only two catches here. So, and I and mine's a, my other one's a Servine. So yeah, yeah okay. So let's, really... let's let's put an asterisk on this one and then we'll come back when yeah. we have a Great Rod. Real quick, this was Route 107. 107. I'll take this gun take. Alakazam. And yours was Brain Stop Work. What did you just catch? Carvana. Carvana. Wonderful. Scun tank is pretty hard to catch if I remember correctly. I don't think it's too bad. <clears throat> remember it being hard but that could just be a false memory <coughs> uh i don't think there's any way i can hurt this thing and i don't think i can catch it with your, with like one great ball i have left mm. i'm gonna try with oh i have two great balls excuse me so let's try it with the one let's see how it tastes it's tough that they're all level five nope or instant 10, break I guess. instant break on a great ball so i don't think that's gonna mm -hmm. work he's also gonna like poison poison move oh. he's gonna poison all of my Pokemon. I got Torkoal. It's level 15. Wow. What? This must be the rare Magikarp. Yeah. Level. That's cool. I mean, it's definitely going to take a wing attack. It's fucking Torkoal. I'm going to use Acid Spray on the Skun Taken if it dies. I'm sorry. It didn't die. Not at all. <coughs> Does Acid Spray 
do... Low, it lowers your special defense, I'm pretty sure. So I can't use Acid Spray again. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Rush. You're so great for doing that. One, two, three. Ah! Mm -hmm. uh, that may, that gives me hope, though. Yeah. But that might have just been a lucky roll, though. So. <coughs> Skunky Brewster. <laughs> Sorry. Skunky Brewster's pretty good. <laughs> um, Why can't I be switched out? Does this thing have arena trap or something? Thank Christ. All right. What do you say we use these as a pair until we have a later uh, Great Ball? I like that. Or Great, great Rod. Not a bad pair. So let's see. Torkoal. If I catch it. Um, oh, it's because of fire spin. That's why I couldn't switch out. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Just instant great ball breakout. Very cool. Very cool. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What do you think of the name Clamp It? Because turtles bite things? No, because it's uh, coal, and my brain went right to the Beverly Hillbillies where they found struck oil. <laughs> oil, coal. Also because they snap. Yeah. Turtles. It's weak. It's weak. There's nothing there. <laughs> I mean, I immediately got the Clampet reference. I know what that name's from. Yeah. I was a naked night bait. Every um, time I think anything about Beverly Hillbillies, I immediately think of the Weird Al... Uh, intro song yeah fucking uhf man y'all hey, anybody out there who hasn't seen uhf do yourself a favor go watch it it's a delight so good <clears throat> so good so let's think old tv shows though like for example in the realm of like skunky brewster yes so like that era of tv what was there like green acres but something turtling <laughs> that's why i was thinking beverly hillbillies but um... no no you, I, I get what you're going for totally I really hope I can fit Skunky Brewster because that's very fresh. What if I name this Turtle Love Boat? <laughs> Skunky Brews is the best I could get. I'm just going to go with Skunky Brew. Skunky Brew. Um, yeah, old TV. I dream of turtle. Um, I dream of Turtle. <laughs> uh, There's no way that's gonna fit. <coughs> I dream of Turtle. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, Jesus. Name some old shows, folks. I know them, but my brain is dried up. So um, my brain, my brain. So here's the thing. I reckon my brain went right to 9/11. So. Because it turned out that um, Dana Carvey was recording the Turtle Club scene literally at the exact moment that 9-11 was happening. <laughs> oh, no. <clears throat> uh, which is that. So that's just where my brain went. And that's not where we're right. going to go. Um, right. <laughs> just, I want you to imagine being being dressed as that fucking turtle. Be, be be Dana Carvey in that moment and then somebody yeah. turns to you and says we're under attack by terrorist organization and you just have that fucking makeup on and you're just like it's, it's like it's like somebody it's like finding out your dog is dead on your birthday and you're wearing like the stupid party hat it's just like the worst thing that's ever happened I mean like having to sit like backstage at like the little table wa like watching the tiny TV with horrible news on it mm -hmm. dresses a fucking turtle Oh, God, it's depressing. Um, Golden Girls. Fish Why movies without so fish in the title and found that on a 1957 film called uh, Saga of the Viking Woman and Their Voyage to the Waters of the Great Sea Serpent. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It sounds like a translation <laughs> to me. Are there... Steve Turkle is Steve not... Turkle. not bad at all. <laughs> Steve Turkle. Bunny... Are you bringing some fire? That's I love Steve Turkle. Steve Turkle is fresh to death. 
Especially when paired with Skunky Bruce. Oh, Skunky Brew and Steve Turkle. I'll take it. That's that's so nice. Is there anything Garbo on the team that we could swap out with his new pair? <coughs> um, I mean, my Monferno is not great. Uh, well, my Monferno does not counter the shitty fucking cat that he's tied to. Okay. Because that cat is a huge liability for me right now. He's, he's basically worthless. Torkoal and you caught Skunk Tank. Yeah, Chingling fucking sucks for me. But it's paired it's paired with Grovile, which is pretty good, but So we both have a, a starter tied with bullshit, right? That's our that's our play. Yeah, sounds like we have a, a starter with a broken ability <coughs> tied with absolute dead weight. Um are those tied together or are those tied to my um my Selgor boy? Let's open up the box and take a look at what's going on here. Yes. Uh, you should be in the dead box because you died. What's what's happening? Oh, this is the dead box. These my new catches just went to the dead box because uh, that's all that could happen. <coughs> okay. Duotion's on the back back burner because we don't have its pair yet. Um. So yeah, Carvana Skun Tank is a pretty sick sick choice. Um. I'd be I the only ones I would not want to swap out for those are. Uh, Servine and uh, annoy that. Let me let me catch up. I'm getting my boxes in order so they are logical to look at. Yeah, I would say uh, I, I like stacking mine two by two, just so that they're visually easier. Yeah, to I make. just want to get them in the right box first. So oh, that's actually... fair. <coughs> I strongly recommend um, using your mouse and keyboard because the key mouse makes oh, it that's way right. easier. <laughs> I always forget that this is an interactive. Uh... Well, these ones are all technically, I mean, Sand Slash is by himself, because we're not getting anything there until we get Rock Smash. Correct. And this Alakazam has huge power. <laughs> so Why? So worthless. And Rockhead. Okay, so these are both good. Yep. Leaf Guard so, and Hydration. What does Hydration do? heals in, in raining heals status conditions in raining and prevents status conditions in sunny weather they are literally opposite of each other yeah <laughs> it's a good duo okay um so you want to keep very badly what did you say uh Noivern Noivern and servine which i believe is paired with vigoroth and aerodactyl so yeah. i have no problem keeping those those aren't going anywhere so do we want to i mean these two are fine they're pretty good um, and they're paired with, uh, what are they paired with? They sell Gore Dedenne, I think. And Dedenne. So do we want to do, no, Clefable well, Probopass is paired with Purloin and Monferno. Oh, no. Damn Provile it. Provile and Shingling is paired with a Cell Gore and Dedenne. Well, great. So, uh, I really hate having this cat on my team, but mm -hmm. I don't want you to be forced to have a Shingling. I don't want us to have to have either. <clears throat> well, I mean, to be fair, I'm getting a Carvana and a Skun Tank, which is a pretty sick ass set. So, well, here's the deal though: we could go north and get one more <laughs> encounter. Oh right, what are we doing? We we have two more encounters, in fact. And the cave, yeah. So I'm gonna we I might want to sail back to town and buy some balls. Yeah, we can also do the 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 catch there. Oh yeah, we can go north and get that catch. Wow, there's a lot, so many fucking catches. Yeah, and they're all going to be one encounter table thing, so it's going to be kind of messy. Yeah. Uh, north is a catch, and then there's also one south in Petalburg, I think. Yeah, you want to? We want to go to Petalburg to buy balls and then catch <coughs> the water. <clears throat> yes. Fish on the Water, the much-awaited sequel to Smoke on the Water. Fish on the Water. What are you doing there, Fish? Get off there. I think after these catches, I kind of want to call it. Yeah. We'll just have a new team. Oof. We're, we're going and doing a lot of catches. The only downside to that is, like, we're spending a lot of money. <laughs> and yeah, I'm burning through cash. To get more... But I have more balls. <coughs> My catch is 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 is, is oh Haxorus. Haxorus. That's 
that's fresh. Mine is Vaporeon. All right. That's that ain't bad. Baby. That's Tanky Baby. I'll take that. Can never be sad about Vaporeon. I want to send Joey Gerbils on this thing. I want to hope I get a, 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 a Paralyze off of Thundershock. Nice. And hopefully you'll go for a Dragon type move. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Please, please, please. Oh, yeah, he's got Dragon Rage. Yeah, Dedenne is the only play. <laughs> please get the para. Be cut. Please, para? I've used uh, six. Can I get a para? Or I've used four, excuse me. I'm a liar and a bad person. No, not so lucky. There's assurance. All right, Pokeball. <clears throat> get in the ball. Get, get in the ball. Nope. <coughs> I'm going to try a great ball, but that's the last one I'm going to use because I don't want to waste those. I mean, if there's nothing, if, if, if you're not going to use it on a Haxorus, I don't know what you're going to use it on. Thank Christ. Okay, oh, Haxorus nice. done. Get your vapes. Beyond. Mm, what am I going to name this Haxorus? Hmm. Oh my god, I just had an idea. What? I was trying to think of famous mermaids to name Vaporeon, and there was a children's show that had Shelley Duvall playing a mermaid um, on the Disney Channel, and Shelley Duvall is in The Shining with Jack Nicholson, who uses a giant axe to create his trademark scene. So, Hack Nicholson? Hack Nicholson and Smelly Duvall. <laughs> Smelly. <laughs> um, I do like Hack Nicholson. I'm definitely going with that. What was the name of the cart? What was the name of the, the mermaid thing? It was like uh, I remember the scene very vividly. She's like on a green screen and she has a lower half mermaid body. It was like one of her story. She had like a whole storybook series she did on Disney Channel. One of them, I think, was The Littlest Mermaid or something. It's, it's such a clear, vivid memory in my brain. I'm going to have to spell this wrong. Fuck. I Chicago Borion. Hack Nicholson. Hello, Irish wristwatch. Hey, wow. It's been a really long time since we've seen you, Irish. What else could I do besides Shelly Duvall that isn't Smelly Duvall? I mean, Shell, Shelly, given that it's a water type, is, makes a lot of sense. Um, <coughs> Shelly Blue Ball? Shelly Evolve? <laughs> that doesn't feel right. It's not good at all. It was called Fairy Tale Theater. I think. Fairy tale theater. Yeah. And then she was literally just in the, uh, a version of The Little Mermaid. So. Yeah. Ha. Huh. Uh. Sm smelly. Uh, shell. <laughs> you can't shell. just keep going back to smelly. <laughs> it's such a good word, though. How about smelly duvet? Smelly duvet because of the earlier <laughs> referencing of hotels? I think so. I feel like smelly duvet is kind of the only way to go now. Okay, smelly <laughs> duvet. Right on. Rock and roll. I wish, I wish Hack Nickelodeon would fit, but that's not going to work. Um, if it's... Hack Nicholson will have to do. I told you. Hey. What's that? Hey. What's the red Go symbol to... next to your name? I don't recognize that. It means they're going to explode in 10 seconds. Uh, smelly duvet is too perfect. <coughs> uh, I do want to see what this beautiful dragon has. Pixelate. Oh, it's, it's got pixelate. That's fun. I mean, it gives you, it gives you a little bit of extra dragon protection. I'm not, I mean, it doesn't give me dragon protection. It gives me dragon offen offensive. I mean, in my, in my mind, it's the same thing. No guard. That's not bad. 
circumstantially no, useful. Uh, one of his signature moves is double or uh, dual chop, and that has a low accuracy, but if they both hit, it's super good. So. <coughs> good point, my man. Uh, let's see if there's a second encounter on this table. Yes, please. I mean, Vaporeon's just a good all around fish dog. Absolutely. Tanky as shit. Oh my god. Cricketot! Uh, it's a bug boy. Uh, can you please That's get an a, upgrade from Purloin. Could you please get a bug so I don't have to catch this? I'll do my best. Because we're at Water Dragon right now. I got a fish dog. He, you keep doing your thing, and we'll see if I still need to catch the stupid fucking cricket. Well, I mean, if, if I get a bug, then we're just not getting another encounter in this water. Oh, we could redo. We could do it another way with the great ball thing, the same way we did with the other boy. Oop. It's a skunk boy, so it is a reencounter for me. Well, then, uh, if it's a reencounter for you, it's a reencounter for me. Let's uh, we compare it with the uh, other village. Isn't there another village to the right here that has a water thing? No water in in Riverwood. Cool. Okay, so I guess these guys are on the back burner until we get a great great rod. Unless we pair them with the ones that are north of Rustboro. Like we did with the ones on the island. That does work for me. We're going to have to remember, you need to write down in the, in the notes, we are pairing these with these for this reason, and when we get Great Rod, we will do this. <laughs> Hold on a sec. I'm going to write here, paired with Slateport. Uh, don't forget Rod to fight the rich. Don't forget to write, fight the rich boy on the way back. It's an extra two grit, two k. You like a re-encounter? Yep. Hold on, I need to put in. Uh, that was Duford. <coughs> was Duford. Vaporeon and Haxorus. Was that Duford? I thought that was um, Petalberg. It was Petalberg. Yeah, Duford's the down. the ocean zone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wing attack. Ooh, well, that is better than Gust right now, especially since I got pure power. Or huge power or whatever. Fight the rich boy, kick him in the dishpan. <laughs> well said. Double sparrows. I have oh. weird fear in my mind from the last time I had a double fight with the same thing. Yeah. And they super killed my very good sloth man. Give me your money, rich child. I feel like Slowpoke is just a wet sloth. That's tracks. I imagine also Slowpoke, if you feel him, it's like that kind of flesh that has like very soft fur on the outside of it. Oh, I don't like that. Like a seal, though. They have little fuzzies. Oh, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I can, I can see that. <coughs> I hated that the... the what is that, Detective Pikachu or whatever, that everything seemed to have fur? <laughs> everything just had giant pores as well. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Ugh, oh, I hate it. Everything looked like they were made out of felt and washcloths. <laughs> Ugh. Cash money in my bank pocket. No, there's a child here I didn't fight. Oh. I totally snuck through the forest on the first time through. Well, I'm going to see what I'm getting. Oh, fart, damn it. <laughs> fart, damn it. Oh, no, you have to fight these two level fives. Yeah. I got... It's just the inconvenience, really. Zubit! All right. That's not bad. Crobit's a good bat. It is a good bat. I do like it. It's actually exceptionally good. So it's a someday maybe good. Mm-hmm. Love me them someday maybe goods. You're so far and few between. Mm. You know what? I'm going to speed up this fight. And then there's the cave encounter. There's a cave encounter and also whatever's north of Duford. I'm apprehensive about trying to catch this until we know what you have. Because if you have something that's like impossible to catch, then I wouldn't want to do it. Nah, nothing's that's impossible fair. to catch. I'm just going to throw a ball. Nothing's impossible when you believe mm -hmm. in the power of poker friends. 
Yes. Ugh. I just want to get through the forest is all I want. Broke out on the last fucking shake. Stupid goddamn... Blind piece of crap shit. Can you stop breaking out? You're a level 5 base tier Pokemon, you shit. You're a sea bat. <laughs> sea bats. That sounds interesting. Kick his cat, sea bat. The idea of, like, an amphibious bat is pretty fucking scary for some reason. It's just a, it's just a manta ray. <laughs> I guess, but then it, then it can just, like, jump out and start flying at you. Imagine being on a boat and all of a sudden, a, a, like, a, a horde of sea bats burst out of the ocean and start f attacking you. Mm. Do they hang, like, right side up <laughs> above the surface? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't call that hanging at that point, but yes. Oh, thank Christ. This thing has busted out on the last shake more times than I can count, and it's stressing me out. I can't count to five, by the way. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I bust out on the last shake, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I gotta figure out a name for this bat. Okay, evolutions, let's go. All right, shit, I'll take it. Uh, what do I swish? Swish to a friend. You, you've got a hot dog, and I've got you a, a hot cave dog. bat. Hmm. Well, we could go back to Robin Williams from Fern Gully. Oh yeah, I forgot about his name. This is Batty. This is Batty? That's, no, I'm not naming it Batty. That's stupid as shit. No, I'm not saying name it after the character. Name it after Robin Williams again. I've already got a Robin Williams. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I can't do that. Technically, I have a Bill Blobbins. <laughs> what? Technically, <laughs> technically, I have a <laughs> Bill Blobbins. Wilbo Blobbins or whatever. <laughs> it's Bill Blobbins. Because I couldn't get I couldn't do Robin Williams or Blobin Williams. Oh, uh, Bill Blob. <laughs> um, let's see. Well, we, the Batman just came out. Yeah. Robert Pattinson. <laughs> Name it Twilight. I feel like Bob Pattinson is not bad. <laughs> Twilight. Okay, how about Team Team Jacob? Team Jacob is a really good name for a bat. Wait, and this what's the, what was the other team? Because this is a dog. Team Edward. Yeah, I'll name this one Team Edward. <laughs> team Jacob. <laughs> Which is totally Why? inverted, and I love it. Why do you know that? Because I I was aware of the early two thousands. It's not like a, oh, how dare you. I'm just like, it's a genuine, how do you know that? Not like a, I don't give a shit if you watch Twilight ten times. I watched the first Twilight as a Rift Tracks, mm. and I found it hilarious. Um, I never watched the other ones, and uh, that's it. I tr Oh, I read the first three pages of Twilight, and I had to put it down. That makes sense. Which is weird, because at the time when I was doing that, I was very good at reading books I hated. Um, and I picked it up, and I was like, nope. Can't do it. It just, I just couldn't. Ooh, so we got to do two more catches? Yeah, so are we pairing Ooh. this? We're pairing this with the Haxorus then? Oh, yeah, we certainly <coughs> can. That's so funny that my team is a Vaporeon and a Flareon. That's pretty cool. I very much like that. Uh, so that was Route 116. And it is Flareon and Zubat. And I have a note that it is paired with 116 rod pending from Rouseboro City. 116 rod pending sounds like a joke. There's a joke there. So do we want to <coughs> We could do a whole them. we could do a wholesale switch out of the two teams we're not a huge fan of and get a nice pretty tasty roster. Uh -huh. it will give me double fire types. I thought we were. I thought the only issue was we couldn't have uh, same type on a single. No, I'm, I'm not saying that th that prohibits us from doing it. I'm just saying sure. I'm pointing out the only advantage disadvantage I could see in that scenario. I leave that to you, my friend. What would you like to do? 
I mean, the idea that I got a Vaporeon and Flareon paired up is very exciting to me because it just seems fucking cool. That's fair. But Alakazam and Torkoal are <clears throat> excellent. Yes. So let's just get our last two mm -hmm. and then sort it out. Okay. That seems to make a little sense. What were the top two in Pokemon Go? What? I'm talking to Zombie. Oh, Alakazam and Torkoal, probably, if I had to guess. Mm. <clears throat> I mean, Torkoal fucking ran competitive when Sword and Shield came out. Oh, the oh, Eevees. The Eevees. Okay. People do love their Eevees. Which, I mean, to be fair, after my fucking Eevee lock, that was... Can I just say, I am shocked I did so well on the Eevee lock. <laughs> They're all good. <laughs> there aren't any bad evolutions. But, like, just that I got lucky enough that at no point did I run into something that could sweep my team. That's true. That was pretty cool. I think the only one I lost outright was uh, uh, Leafy or Leafeon, I think. I do remember the death of Leafeon. I think yeah. it was the Basil. Yeah, I lost Basil. Poor baby. Ho. I'm really looking forward to spring coming while I'm still traveling to Utah because it's so brown right now and apparently it gets very lovely later. Mm. <coughs> Sick of the brown. Oh, it's very brown. Um, well. Oh, right. oh no, there's a fucking backpack. Oh. Perfect timing. Please. Wingle and Dusk Skull. The rhyming pair. It's Voltor Electrode. One way to look at me. Hold the devil and watch the hoodwink. Oh, I should have named one of them Evie Nicks. <laughs> That's music. They've made movies about Stevie Nicks and Woodstock. You're correct. Electrode. You like chode. <laughs> I chose not to. I made the conscious decision not to make that joke. Select chode. There we go. Only the finest of chode. Oh, I got safety goggles. I feel so safe. Let's see what my encounter is. If Radioactive Man has taught me anything, it's that those are not safe. No, they do nothing. That's an old meme. Jellicers. The uh, tip of that just got me, Odell, is... Uh, <laughs> I had forgotten about that. <laughs> I can love it. <coughs> it's a Raichu. They're both electric. No, oh, we can't. We encounter. Damn it. It's a Delta Stream Raichu. It's a raw deal. That thing really fucks some flying type, huh? Mm. Is that... Because that weakens flying moves, right? Oh, uh, I think it actually... Uh, protects flying types from weaknesses. <clears throat> okay, so never mind. Great on Raichu. I know it's something that goes on Rayquaza, so mm. it's meant to help flying types. Ah, I still remember exactly. Ugh, wait, now that's species. I have. I thought exactly. you had a Bidoof, not a Zigzag. I have both. Oh, yeah. It's paired with. Um, shit. Oh yeah, Venomoth. Yeah. That was maximum. Well, that means we can't really do anything up here then for this route. Unless this one has more, uh, a bigger catch pool? We'll see. I've only got Raichu so far. Mm. We could put a hold on this one until we get a great ball. Great rod. Randomizer Nuzlocke, indeed, my friend. Great rod. I keep saying ball. I don't know why I do Randomizer this. Twin Link. Twin lock, yeah. So we are we are doing force double battles for all trainer battles, uh, which definitely adds to the zest. Yes. And all of our teams are double linked. So if one of mine dies, four of our Pokemon die. Yes. Uh, right now, Air Force Fun, Long Selic are a pair, as well as Most Def Leopard and uh, Flint Eastwood. And we got Rush 2049 and Joey Goebbels. Uh, I've got Shreddenbacher, the Aerodactyl, Hassel Sloth, the Slack, or the Vagaroth, Sam Smelliot, the Probopass, Jiggy Stardust, the Clefable, Getty Leaf, the Grovile, and Don Quixote, the Ching. It's a good team. <clears throat> Ready for the cave? 
I haven't even <laughs> seen what my second encounter is. Well, I guess we could do that. I guess it doesn't matter since yours is a zigzagoon. Or we could do mine with the electrode, whatever you get. Actually, or we sense. could just treat the cave like we did every other route and actually get two encounters in the cave. That does make sense. It has a much bigger encounter table. I think we should still uh, log it for future use with the Great Rod, though. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I just need to remember what route the upper area is. Here we go. What is it? It's a... Ugh, Lipard. I already have a Lipard. Species. Goodbye, Lipard. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. I'm just going to go check real quick and see what this route is. Route 106. Okay. Pending. It's a Psyduck. Okay. We got ducks. Ducks for days. Show Please get me. a water type. <laughs> Please get a water type so I don't have to catch the Psyduck. Nope, it's, it's a Caterpie. <laughs> this is going to be the hot, dumpingest ass team. This is going to be a good duo right here. I can't hit this thing at all. I will murder this duck if I attack it with my boy. Um, let's get most F Leopard out there. He's a reliable slap. Just... <laughs> Nothing like a good, reliable slap. Yeah. Please dunk on Look, this stupid. Every, everyone loves Golduck as a character, but stat wise, Golduck is very below average across he's, the board. I like his design. He, yeah, he's just really not a good Pokemon. Good night, Guillotine. Good night. It was just such a bummer because it seems like the kind of Pokemon that you would get and you'd be like, oh, he's actually surprisingly good. No, he isn't. They should have made him incredibly offensive water psychic, but and they, they just he's a victim of having a horrible Gen 1 moveset that never got fixed. Yeah, if, if I remember correctly, he isn't actually psychic, right? He just gets psychic moves. No, there's no psychic at any type. He just gets a couple of... Psyduck gets confusion. Oh my god, that's so dumb. I mean, I like Butterfree, so for me, I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> yeah, dude, Golduck blows. Go, the whole... They need a third... They need a third evolution. That's what it needs. Have you ever seen a platypus's skull? No. Their bill is not like a normal duck-like bill. It's actually more like a fleshy upper jaw like dogs have. And their skulls look like crazy alien beetles. Like a, okay. like it's like a tuning fork of bone. Okay. Um, so something related to ducktails? Oh, uh, this could be... Uh, I think his name's Ashton Kutcher from Butterfly Effect for Butterfree. Something in that area. I am almost certain we named a Butterfree uh, Ashton Kutcher at one point. Wow, then. That's a, I am, that's a I am for me. almost completely positive we named it. <laughs> what, other, what other butterflies in media are there? Um, fuck, man. Butterflies in media. Uh, oh, I could name it Reading Rainbow could name it reading rainbow that's pretty cute you've got a duck so duck, duck tales and reading rainbow duck both kids shows yeah but there's no joke there why that's a, it's a starting point uh okay so my brain went right to wishbone for some reason you can name it you can name it remake uh, <laughs> um shit just duckberg Duck <laughs> or Mighty Ducks. How about Goldberg? What about Estevez? Estevez for for Mighty Ducks. Uh, Emilio Estevez. He, he was in it. I just forget that he's in that. <laughs> yeah, you like could it. combine. You could combine Duckberg and Goldberg, the goalie from Ducktales. Just... <coughs> Goldberg, the goalie. Ah. Uh... I like that Estevez is basically spelled Esteves. <laughs> um, the bu only butterfly thing. <laughs> Jordan <Jordy> Laforge. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, Estevez, huh? I feel like Estevez is a pretty great name for this fucking duck. Um, well, if you do Estevez, I can just do Lavar. Yeah. 
Uh, is that how you spell Lavares in Burton? I think so. Or I think it's L E V A R. Let me check. Lavar Burton. Yep, L E capital V A R. Makes sense. Uh, is there is there funny after names we can give this thing? Lavar Squirtin. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Lavar Squirtin? Um, <laughs> Doctor misses the monarch. <clears throat> Estevez. Paleo Estevez. <laughs> Uh, I got nothing. Um, is Lavar and Estevez funny enough on its own? No. I mean, Estevez is because it's such a weird name to give a duck, but Lavar, there's nothing there. Do you think a butterfly Lavar is not as weird as Estevez a duck? <laughs> no. They seem equally weird to me. <laughs> Lavar is squirting. <laughs> Uh, every time I think about it, I think you gotta go Lavar Squirt, and I hate it. <laughs> I like I like that his name is Estevez. I'm sticking with this. You're not gonna like how I spelled Squirt. <laughs> I, I already know I don't. I never have. <coughs> I've never liked how you spelled anything. <laughs> Harsh. Here we go, here we go. Second encounter. It's a. I can trade this for Hitmonlee. I've got a Voltorb. Oh, yeah, how do we handle trades? I don't know. I think we could just swap one out if we happen to get a random trade that fits. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with that. I can get a Hitmonlee. <coughs> that's, I have to evolve it into a Zatu first, but, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, that's fine. Do they uh, match the thing? Do they match levels? A, do they match levels? Oh, uh, when you trade. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I doubt it. You should quick save and try it because then you could just fucking rare candy it up to a Zatu, trade it out, and then bam, you get to hit on. True, Fuck, but I don't think we're going to pair. I don't think you're going to do anything that's going to get your duck on that team. So I don't need to worry about it now. No, there's no chance I want to use this duck or this Voltorb for that matter. Yeah, you don't want to use a duck in a ball. <clears throat> Oh, it doesn't matter. Zatu has teleport. Uh, this is a failed encounter. We put so much work into our beautiful Estevez and Lavar Squirtin, <sighs> and now we can't even use them. This is the price we pay for Nuzlocking. Well, well, this is an anticlimactic way to end the fucking episode, but here we are. Well, we're going to swap something out. I'm fine with either the dogs or Alakazam and, and Torkoal. I would. I'd rather just do the whole thing. I don't want. I. I don't want any of these four. Okay. Because I mean, literally, those two teams fucking rule ass. The only drawback is that you have two fires. Which I mean, Flareon's really not good, but that's okay. That's fair. Okay. I mean, if you don't want, if you specifically don't want to use the EVs, I'm okay with that. The thing is, I do, but only for style points, and you don't necessarily want to use style points in a Nuzlocke. No, you are correct. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I know for hmm. a fact I want either of these teams. Preferably the Haxor. Well, I don't really need the Haxor, so I've already got a fucking dragon, so. Uh, Skun true. Skuntank and Carvana does give me some good points. It gives me water, dark, and it gives me poison and more dark. Mm -hmm. So. But not that I need more dark, but. And Skunk Tank is with the, the, the Torkoal Alakazam. Okay, so if I. Swap those out with who did you swap? Oh, we're just gonna start from scratch. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Thank you yeah, for the cool. cheers, X told ya. Damn, son. X Bust. has been super generous on the streams. Very, very cool. Nice. Huh. Uh, we had an okay time with the Nuzlocke today. We lost a really big one. Uh, in in the we lost a big team in the gym, and then we uh had some failed catches and mostly just got things. Goodbye, Lavar. Uh, can I give you one spoiler? What is it for? Wait, I accidentally just released Chingling. Uh! <laughs> I think I save stated <laughs> recently, and the cave that happens doesn't matter. Uh, do a hard save and then load. 
Uh, quick load. I, I, am, I am doing that. Okay, cool. That was dumb. I literally clicked on Lavar and then the chingling next to it disappeared. Uh, load from newest slot. Where was this? How far back did we go? Do I have my northern catch yet? I cut my hair. I didn't know. Oh, wait, I did. Didn't you already show it to me when you came in? What? I was just trying to remember if I had seen it yet, and then I remembered I did. I think I no. I did. I did have it when when I last came into your your bar. No, this is this is actually a ways back. My haircut? No, my save state. <laughs> I, I'll just port in a new chingling. It's fine. I know yeah, all the stats on it. As long as you have the the types and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's abilities. Um, I can yeah. literally screenshot and just do whatever. I already know it has battle armor and it had an attack dropping nature. It's that works. Totally. Uh, so what's our what? So for keeping Skun Tank and Carvana, what's number two? I mean, it feels like we are also definitely keeping. Uh, well, hold on. Let me get back in there. Let me get back in this mess. My only, the only drawback of using uh, Team Jacob and Hack Nicholson as well is that that gives me now two dragons, two poisons, and two darks, which is a what's lot of very. Poison? What's the second poison? Uh, both uh, Zubat and Skuntank are poison. Haxorus and Neuverner Dragon, and uh, Skuntank and Carbon are dark. I didn't know we were onto the. Oh, I see. I see. I see. So, uh, just trying to figure out which one was paired with Zubat. Ideally, ideally, I think bringing in uh, uh, Dedene and Excelgor would be the nicest for me, but that's just you know my bennies. And that is paired with Grovile and the Chingling that I need to report in, I believe. Yeah, because that would give me Bug, Electric, and Fairy, which is a lot of coverage for me. Uh huh. Uh huh. I mean, that makes my team quite good, except for Chingling. I mean, I'm fine with that. Okay. It just gives me double psychic, one of them being quite redundant. Thank you. I'm a little sad to lose Nose Pass just because he's uh, been my wall, but I think I can work without him. Follow Biocast. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> ah. mm. Pixelate and Quick Feet is nothing to write home about. What abilities uh. did my Alka's in? Oh, yeah, huge power and rocket. Like, I don't think Dark is weak to Fairy, is it? It just uh, we yes, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, okay, I know that. Oh. I know that D Fairy resists Dark. I didn't know that it was weak to it. It's that yeah, Dark is weak to Fairy type. Okay, gotcha. Uh, poison is strong against Fairy. Correct. And Dragon can't hit it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, this is a very fresh. This is a very fresh team for me. I like these boys. These are good boys. All I have to do is fix my my chingling accident. Yeah, so this is good. I mean, this is this was an awkward and weird Nuzlocke, but it's also the first one we've done a little bit, so I can't blame us for being rusty. Uh, I have been traveling to Utah, which I will still be doing, but fortunately, I will always be getting back before the Nuzlocke, so that should be fine. Um, I really thank you guys for coming and hanging out and doing all this stuff with us. We're gonna call it here, obviously, in case you couldn't tell from mm -hmm. my note of finality in my voice. Um, and I'm just going to ask what level we're going to get our friends up to and say goodbye as well, because you've all been awesome tonight. You had some great name suggestions and good goofs. I think level 15 is a nice solid number. That makes sense. That's what level the Torque Hole I caught already was, because it was the lucky magic harp slot. Well, hot damn, let's go ahead and do it. Thank you guys again for coming. We're going to be back here on Wednesday. If you haven't checked it out already, go to slot-studios.com or vluq.com for our actual website where you can find more information about our podcast. Uh, and I'm going to remember to upload this to YouTube so that you can watch it there. There you go. Uh, the podcast is League of Ultimate Questing. It's a D&D actual play podcast set in a world where adventuring is a major league sport, complete with in-world advertisements for things like Viagra for barbarians who can't keep their rage up and more. Uh, you should definitely check it out if you're just finding out about us through this Twitch or, I guess, YouTube, as the case might be. Um, or Facebook, like whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. The, however the fuck you found us, check out our website because I swear to God there's good stuff on it. Uh, other than that, though. I think we're done. Um, Big kisses. <laughs> <laughs>